Hello, hello, there we go, levels are all good, game lagging, let me chat. No, we're all good, hey, hey, a DN, a sizzle, sizzle, hey, how you doing? How's everyone doing? We're, uh, we're back on Final Fantasy XIV today, continuing the Stormblood storyline, really hoping to finish it today, really hoping to finish it. Um, we've got like... Eight quests, I think. I'm just looking at my quest tracker. I think, I think eight quests left. Let's have a chat with Raven then. Right, Raven wishes to thank you for your service. I genuinely thought I said sacrifice for a second, then I was thinking, what? What's going on? <clears throat> right, Sunbucks, Commander Hexed. Fine work you did today. I forgot her name was Hexed. After Specular Imperatress, we need re a, round blah, 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 a resounding victory like this. Thanks to you, Raugus star yet bright burns bright. There we go. I'm glad, I really am, but you should know that Alice was injured in the fighting. Oh, poor Alice, that's right. Regrettable, but I am pleased to hear that she will make a full recovery. For Dolo's parting words, on the other hand, ring less favourably in my ears. Did I say you get injured? I've completely forgotten the dungeon. <laughs> anyway, but if Xenos wishes to invite us to his so-called royal hunt, then this bull would fain accept. What troubles you, Lise? What troubles you, Lise? Uh, oh, it's nothing really. It's just that we're almost to the end, but we've still got to say Kryle and do so much more. Yeah, that's true. We'll find her soon enough. Pippin has his best men scouring the Catrim's archives as we speak. Listen, Lise, it will take time for us to fully occupy the Catrim and prepare to advance into the locks. While we wait, there is something I would like to show you, both of you. After all, this may be the last chance we have to catch our breath before the final push. Ooh. I, I don't see why not. Oh, what are we gonna get shown? Interesting. Then come with me to Redieta. From there, we'll need to follow another road south. Ooh, okay, we're going south from Redieta. That's random. This random NPC just like looks at us and like nods. Huh? Who is that? <laughs> okay. All right, let me mount up. Yeah, this is a nice quick quest. It's always great to get started with a quick quest. Hopefully the uh, the next few are quick as well. But yeah, I'm hoping to completely smash um, Stormblood by like well before we finish streaming and then we can get into post patch content straight away. So that should be good. But yeah, in the meantime, we've just got to keep powering through these quests. Um, I've got to see about getting down here without uh, going off the map. There we go. All good. Just round here. Okay. Um, I swear he said meet me in Redieta, but what he meant was go south from Redieta. I could have sworn he said meet me in Redieta. Anyway, even after all these years, it's still the same. Yeah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You deserve a proper welcome. Mm. Okay, and none of these are any good. No. I've already got the good, the good, le the good legs. What have we got? There we go. I think this is our final eighth of current for the area. I haven't got them all yet, but this will be the final eighth. Well, probably the final eighth of current of the st of Stormblood uh, in story con uh, quest at least. Story content at least. Right. Raven would share with you a story. The feet. Yes, I can get new feet. Awesome. Sunbucks, Lease. I brought you both here for a reason. 
post. What, what, what was the reason? You're going to jump us into a cutscene straight away? Yes, you are. Voice cutscene? I think so, yes. I wanted to show you this house. My house. Oh, it's his house. You mean this is where you grew up? That's what he means, yeah. Aye. Not much to look at, is it? It's all right, actually. I wouldn't mind this house. Wouldn't mind any house, to be honest. Same could be said of the village. It was damn near impossible to live off the land, barren as it was, which is why so many of us traded our plowshares for swords. But yeah, you can see there's, there's not much in terms of crop growth here. Um, you would ideally expect the land to be covered in crops, but eh, whatever. Swords and uniforms, mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire, and there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. Yeah, well... It's a frightening thing to face Magitek armor for the first time. But, after a lot of trial and error, I found ways to bring them down. After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. <laughs> and then one day they hit us. Hard. I was wounded and sent home to recover. Back here. Back here. Okay. The way you're describing, like the way you say, oh, back here. It's like, ooh, ominous. What happened? Oh, here we go. We don't get many of these cut these uh, flashbacks, do we? Will you remain silent for fear of the Mad King's vengeance? Of his eyes and ears in the shadows and his knives in the dark? You who call this living dishonor our nation? It is but a slow death. Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> Who's this Curtis? Oh, here we go. He's writing on the wall. I was wondering what that writing was. Liberty or death? Ah. Oh. Liberty or death? If this be your creed, then raise up your hands, raise up your voices. Together we will tear Theodoric from the throne. Together we will reclaim our freedom. I don't think it went too well, to be honest. You know, seeing as the Imperials still currently hold the area. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay then, fair enough. Who's this Curtis? Send you home to men, did they? Yeah, apparently they did. Aye, oh, sir. Garlean's got the better of us. The the Chirurgeons say I'm healing well, so it won't be long now. He, sound, he sounds like a timid little child. Bless him. Liberty or death, is it? Tell me, soldier. What do you think those words mean? Yeah. Well, what do they mean? We... We must need to be willing to die for liberty. What do you think those words mean? Liberty or death? I suppose, yeah, I suppose, it, yeah. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And wow. it is never truly <laughs> finished. But yeah. if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up to find you've traded one tyrant for another. You're right, it's not quick or easy work, because we're still going at it. Like, what, this is 25? Like, somewhere between 25, like, 15 and 25 years later. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, sir, I, I've never asked for much. Never wanted to live like a king, just wish it were a little bit easier, is all. 
for me and everyone else. And I'm... I'm willing to die for that, if that's what it takes. You just sound so timid, doesn't you? Bless him. Dying nothing, is well, easy, soldier. <sighs> Living is harder. I mean, he, he definitely sounds like Raven. It's just he doesn't sound like Raven. Rest, mend. Regain your strength. You'll need it in the days to come. And may at one day we will need it too. It's funny you said that, Curtis, because he does go out to become the leader of the fl uh, flame general. The flame general? No, he is the flame general. He becomes uh, the, the immortal flames. There you go. He comes to lead the immortal flames. One of the uh, the three great grand companies, eh? One of the, the part of the Aeorzean Alliance. So don't worry, he, uh, he rested well. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lise, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. Liberty or death? Those were Curtis's words and his creed. Will you swear by your father's creed before your comrades and the gods? Thanks for the hydrate. Lovely hydration there. <laughs> Liberty or death. That's all you can hope for in war. Father understood that. And you want to know if I do too. Do you? Ask the question. I swear to you, here Thank and you now, much, I, I will that. fight <laughs> until the end. Be it liberty or be it death. But the freedom we win must be for every Alamegan. Even ones like Fordola, though they may hate us. And the Ananta, though they may fear us. We'll fight, and we'll talk. And we'll find a way to make it work for all of us. Compared to all that, Retaking our home will seem like the easy part. Sounds to me like Lisa's, uh, mm. Lisa's up for the job. A good oath. And there is naught else to say. You are indeed your father's daughter. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird hearing his like younger voice. Oh. <laughs> like it was him, but it wasn't. Anyway, let's have a chat with Robin again. Even a blind man could see that Lise wasn't herself. Not that I, not that I don't understand. Uh, not that I don't understand. To be thrust into a position of authority under such circumstances, uh, to be made responsible for the lives of so many, it isn't easy. And when you see your friend get cut down before your eyes, it only gets harder. I'll wager she thought Alice was dead for a moment back there. It is one thing to risk your life for a cause, but to risk that of another is a burden no soldier is ever truly ready to shoulder. The fear, the guilt, it weighs on her. And that's good. It will make her a better commander. But first she needs to learn to carry it. To not let it break her. To remember that some causes are worth fighting for. Liberty or death. Her father's words gave me words gave me strength once. Mayhap they'll do the same for her now. Oh, that was a father. <laughs> that was a father, right, okay. <laughs> right then, I think I've said enough. The two of you can head back. I mean to stay a bit longer. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, let me just have a, let me just let me mend my gear. I need to mend my gear. Re repair gear, thank you. Uh repair all years. Let's just repair everything. Like literally everything. Uh, repair. Um Yeah, I was uh Oh someone's yeah, okay then. I was uh, working on the relic quest line for Heavensward yeah, this morning. This morning, and uh, I've reached a point in it where I'm a bit stuck because I kind of want to do this Kettle to the Metal quest. And I've got over on the right where I've got to do Battle of Members, Howling Guy, Naval, All Extreme. But small issue. Um, I don't know if I have to be using the relic weapon. In those fights. The problem is the Heavensward Relic Quest line, it doesn't require it, but it give it you there's an option for you to trade in the final relic weapon from Realm Reborn to basically skip a quest. It's not 
what it is is the quest requires the relic weapon. However, you can substitute the relic weapon out for some stuff that you have to get from like fighting a bunch of enemies in, in fates and stuff. I don't want to do that. So much quicker to just chuck over the relic weapon and be like, hey here, let me start my new relic quest line, use me old ones, boom. I just don't know if I can do that without sacrificing this quest that I want to do. I'm a bit stuck with it. Hey Brit, how you doing? Those are some shady eyes, some shifty eyes there. What's going on? I, I understand. He's been away for a long time and he probably wants to be alone for a while. Let's head back to Rodieta. Yeah. Yeah, and then Well, I mean, okay, we're not quite going to Rodieta, are we? We're going to stop before Rodieta. But I think I can see it. So that's good. Wait, am I the only one who feels like I'm being watched? Yeah. I don't know if it's Imperials or Bandits, but I know there's more than one of them. Let's split, it, let's split up. You head northwest and I'll head northeast. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Okay. Um, I was woken up by a phone call and now I'm at work. No coffee, no food, and a long night. Oh, wait, did they call you into work? Is that what you're saying? Bastard, say. Eh? I bet you're glad you're. you're uh, what, have you handed? Like, have you, have you, you know, <laughs> have you done that yet? Or like, you know, or what am I doing around here? Am I supposed to be triggering a fight or something? Oh, okay. No, someone else. Oh, someone else called you. I oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Fair enough. Um, oh. Well. Was it a, a bad call? Was it a good call? I imagine it may have, might have been a... Well, I mean, it might not have been a bad call. It might have been a good call, but it just took a lot, like, a long time. I don't know. Seven hours. She's seen us. Sonic, dead as good as alive to the Imperials. Okay, we're fighting apparently. Oh, okay. If I can, like... There we go. Um... Someone who is going to be waking up at 1 a.m. Sunday night, Monday morning. Oh, really? Oh. You didn't like being woken up early, then. <laughs> I don't blame you, to be honest. Right, rendezvous with Lise. So did they wake you up like really early? Is that what's going on? And then I'm a shover off the bed. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. Oh, hey, Lee, you had some trouble as well, did you? They attached you too, didn't they? I, I had no choice. They're Alamegan, not even conscripts by the look of them. Barely adults, in fact. Some of them, their faces look familiar. Oh, wait, I remember. They're from Rodieta. They must have seen us when we were looking for Stark. They probably thought the Imperials would reward them if they captured or killed. Oh, God. Alice and Alphanor could be in uh, uh, danger, too. We have to get back to Rodieta and find Nargo. Oh. Why are you running that way? Oh, wait. It's... Well, okay, Rodieta is, you know, whatever. He's over there, I guess. I would have just come around the other way. So, Britt, Brit, how's work going? Uh, Queenstown bed is not meant to hold three adults, and she pushed me off the bed Wednesday, and I hit the ferret cage. Oh, oh, oh! I see. I think I. Uh, I, th I think I, I see where you're going there. And no, queen size beds aren't supposed to hold three adults. Not really. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, that. What's this all about? You two look ready for a fight. 
We were ambushed by villagers outside of a dieter and, and thought they might try to attack you too. Are you all right? I we're fine. The twins are at Starks. Alice was asleep last I checked. I'm sorry, did you say you two were ambushed by villagers, not soldiers? Uh, did they see not see what we just did to Castro Mavania? God's damn fools. Oh, hey, Afna. Lee, Sunbucks, we ever heard you talking. The ones who attacked you, well, they were young, less than 20 summers? Oh, I thought so. It's always the young ones, the ones who have only got, ever known the occupation. They're the ones you've got to look out for. See, the only decent work to be found in the dieter is for the Imperials, and everyone knows it. Children grow up knowing it. They have it pounded into their skulls about the best they can hope for is to serve an Imperial officer. Bloody fools, after everything they've seen us accomplish, they ought to be begging to, uh, to fight for the resistance, not us. They've been living in the shadow of a castrum their whole lives. A few victories won't change that, aye. And you get, uh, aye, you get some who can't wait to spit in a soldier's eye, but they get beaten for their trouble, or worse. Even so. And the ones that don't fight back but refuse to beg, well, they just starve. Beat the dog that bites his master's hand and ignore the dog that refuses to do his bidding, see? In the end, the ones that learn to abide are the ones who survive. Now, you may say that's all about to change, and I believe you, many of you do. But a young man or woman who grew up knowing, not only knowing what he knows, has every reason to doubt. Remember that. Do what you have to if it comes to it, but remember that. The sooner we liberate Alamigo and bring an end to the occupation, the better. Only then can we show these youths that things do not have to be this way. Only then will they know what it's like to, means to live free. We're going to build a new home for ourselves, together. A better home than they've ever known. Oh. Uh, I actually want the boots. Thank you. So... Britt, what I'm taking away from this is that uh, your yeah your boyfriend has, has a ferret. Is that right? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Am I picking up on that one right? Right, what's going on here? Lisa has a proposal. All right. Oh, I've, I've not been jumping ahead on crossing my tracker. Lady, in, lady in red. A lady in red. I've been thinking. If Alice needs more time to heal, maybe we should move her to Raga's Reach. She can receive much better care there, after all. Our infirmary is probably the best place for her, short of sending her to Gridania. Indeed, and given what Mistress Woad has told us, I would rather she did not remain here. Then it's settled. Nargo, go and see about getting us a carriage and an escort. Alphano, you should get your sister ready for the journey. At Sunbucks, would you mind going on ahead and telling Aurelia that we're on our way? I want a bed waiting for Alice when she arrives. Thanks. Yeah. Hopefully, I can just teleport to Raga's Reach. <laughs> I want to go to the Western Raga's Reach. Um, Aether Current Shard thing, that's the one. Aether Shard. Aethernet Western, Western Raga's Reach. Mount up because we can. Um, also, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, that looks amazing, doesn't it? It looks so good, that glamour. Hi. Hmm, do you require assistance? Yeah, we need a bed set up, please. And very well. We will make ready to receive the patient at once. Give me a hand, would you? Yeah, sure. Oh, that's him. Great. Not even a cutscene, I don't think. It's just, oh, it is a cutscene. There, all crisp and freshly laundered. Hey, Alphano. Uh, we're here. Is everything in order? Oh, uh, yeah, just about. Right, we're bringing her in. It's a shame you can't apply glamour here. I think it might be a voice scene. No, I okay. don't. Honestly, Alphano, you needn't have gotten to, gone to all this trouble. What can I say? It seemed a good way to discourage you from limping off to battle when my back was turned. Listen to Aurella, please. You need your rest. I, I know, I know. Any news of Kryl? She'll be cross if you make her wait too long, as will I. <laughs> a chilling prospect indeed. I'll find her, sister, and I'll fight twice as hard for the both of us. The 
they're good together, when they're not at each other's throats, I miss that feeling. Sunbucks, I have a favour to ask. Would you mind waiting outside for me? I won't be a moment. Yeah, sure. I'll tell you what, while, while we are here in the area, where an Aether Shard is, um... Yeah, so where, where does she want me to wait? That's fine. So we're actually going to teleport over to Limsa. Just so I can apply my glamour. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be getting any more gear between now and the end of the expansion. With, like, with there being six quests left, I'm convinced we're pretty much there. Tell you what, let's go back to our hula gear, but let's equip the red gear. Right, Rauga's Reach. There it is. Right. Um, what am I doing? I can just teleport over to Western. That should put me like... Yeah, she's over here. She, well, she... I'm meeting her over here. Here we go. Let's just have a stop here. It's gonna stab me. Whoa, that is a funky chocobo. That was purple, wasn't it? She changed her outfit. Oh, is this where she's going to say I'm staying here? Sorry to have kept you waiting. That's okay. Well, what do you think? I know it's a bit old-fashioned, but in a traditional sort of way, Ida wore it whenever she could. Ah. Not that I'm pretending to be her or anything. Not again. <laughs> it's just... If this is the last battle we fight to free El Amigo, then she ought to be a part of it. That's so nice. It suits you. I will be honest, like, Le Lisa's colour is it's red. It's nice of you to say so. Really. And a bit embarrassing. But mostly nice. <laughs> is he just literally stood there, just like, shanking that uh, train dummy? Or not even? You know, you're just anyway, going for the it real and not, reason you know. I asked you here was to sneak in a warm up before the final battle. Oh, you want to fight? There's this oh. place I know where monks used to spar as part of their training. Care to join me? Yeah. I'm gonna beat Lise. Is it up on top of the off of the, the statue? Yeah, of course it is. That's where it is in the trailer. Was it in the hand or something? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's in the hand. Here we go. Look at my relic weapons. Oh, she's got. A, she's got. A, what is she doing? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got claws, so. Do I actually get to fight her? Is that going to be a thing? Like, is it going to say talk to Lise and you've entered, you're about to enter a synced area? That'd be really cool. Looks just like the trailer. No, I don't think I actually get to fight her. Oh, maybe I do. Um, maybe not. No. Maybe we got a little carried away, but you have to admit that was fun. Uh, thank you, Sunbox. You're the best kind of friend. The kind that's not afraid to knock some sense into you. I'm going to take that as we beat her. Right, cheek to cheek. Right. Oh, and there was me saying I'm not going to get any more gear. To be fair, that's actually worse than what I'm wearing. What am I wearing now that's so good? Did I get this in a dungeon? Oh, 
I actually have no idea where I got that from. I probably got it from a dungeon, to be honest. Anyway, except. Now that Alice is settled in, it's time we rejoin the fight. Have I jumped away? No, okay. Uh, though, actually, maybe you and Alphano should go on ahead without me. I need to talk strategy with the officers, and that might take a while. Sure. Oh, no, I, I, yeah, I'm on the right one. All right, let's just moan up. And have a chat with Alphano. Oh, there's, there's someone over there doing, like, crafting. I was thinking, what is that effect over there? Just someone doing crafting. Right, out for no bad. Causing problems. Uh, ah, there you are. Uh, what was it the least wanted of you? Ah, oh, I just beat her up, it's fine. Just, yeah, smacked her on the face. <laughs> ah, sparring match on the destroyer, sparring match on the destroyer's very palm. I would have liked to have seen that. But she is right, we have lingered here long enough. I am ready to depart when you are. Uh, take care, you two. Don't do anything I wouldn't. And you had not better... You, bah, 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 oh, Jesus Christ, I can't talk again. And you had better not rise from that bed until you are given express permission to do so. Yuriangi will be paying you a visit soon, and he is already worried enough as it, as it is. We have a long road ahead of us. Uh, we have a long road ahead of us. Lead the way, Sunbucks. Why can't I talk today? <laughs> okay, where are we going? Uh, we need to have a chat with Pippin. Uh, oh, you want me to go all the way there? Hmm. I just really wish there was a feature in the game that was like, you know, personal Aetherites, where like you could, I don't, I don't know, like it would have to it'd be on, like, obviously it would be on like a cooldown or something, but you could put, pop down like a, a personal Aetherite and like it would remain there for like an hour or something, or, you know, two hours or something. It would remain there for X amount of time. And then you would, um... Be able to teleport back to it once. Like you could only do it once, and then yeah, it'd have like a massive cooldown because obviously it's it's it, that would be just stupid. Like you know, if you could just use it indefinitely all the time, sort of you know, whatever you know, it would be that would be you know silly. Um, but yeah, if like one you know you could use, or maybe if it was like a a one-time use item, you could just keep buying them. Or, or like, you, maybe you could have a limit on how many you could have. Like, you could have like a maximum of five or something at any one time, um, and, and only one could be active at a time, kind of thing. That could be pretty cool. But then again, like I don't know. Like, it's obviously a little bit game breaking <laughs> in that then it kind of removes the you know the traveling essentially. But that's but the benefit of it, like. So having said that, you would still have to have gone to that place to drop the Aetherite. You know, you would have to go somewhere to put the Aetherite. It's just for these scenarios here where you know, well, you know, where you, you're thinking, okay, I'm probably going to have to come back here. I'm going to drop the Aetherite. And then, yeah, if you, if you don't use it in like two hours or whatever, 90 minutes, I don't know how long, then it just destroys itself. Like, it would just crumble. It's all oh, the Aether wears out. Like, the Aether seeps away. Something like that. And maybe if you was in a party, then... Um, actually, no, I don't know how that would work. I was going to say, if you was in a party, then maybe once you have teleported to it then it's available for the rest of the party members for like an additional 30, 60 seconds or something like to also teleport to but then how would you then restrict like other play like in that sense then you could essentially have all of your party members have their own personal way throughout some different places and you teleport from one to another in sequence that would kind of ruin it so maybe you wouldn't be able to use it in a party. Yeah, I don't know how they would work that. So we'll scrap that part, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just think about like a little personal ether would be really cool. You returned. How fares your sister, Alphano? 
Her rapier which remain her rapier which remains undulled. For better or for worse. Have there been any developments in our absence? I'm proud to say that Castro Mabani is now wholly under our control. At present, we are uh, taking stock of the enemy's supplies and redistributing them amongst our men. Uh, also, while sifting through the officer's documents, we learned that a unit of skulls under Fodola com Fodola's command passed through the, the Castrum en route to the capital with a single prisoner in their custody. Kral, it has to be her. In all likelihood, yes. You'll be glad to hear that the tunnel leading to the locks has been secured by our soldiers and is now safe for travel. And one final piece of good news. Reinforcement from all four Alliance nations have re arrived and, jo and joined the main host, which has established a new base of operations within the locks. Commander Hex should be arriving soon, yes? When she does, we will call a meeting to discuss the final stage of Raga's beacon. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, he's going to comment on the, on the outfit, isn't he? Yeah, I thought so. An Alamegan folk dress. How very fitting. And well fitting, I might add. I wanted to do something for Ida. And myself. I just realised we're, we're both wearing red. <laughs> okay. Right. This is it. The last push. We're coming, Kral. And literally the last push. We are five quests away. Let's be a good bit back. Journey to the locks. Yes, here we go. Oh yeah, new area. We're probably going to hear Leech talk. I remember my father's words. How they rang in my ears as we left Castra Mabania behind and looked out over the locks before us. Comrades brave and true, they had come from all across Eorzea to stand with us, to stand against oppression and tyranny. Twenty years the Empire had ruled us, but no longer. Liberty or death. Liberty or death. There we go. Liberty or death. Right, let's go grab that Aether current. Aether, Aether shard. Aetherite. After this. There we begin. I would say to you, as a proud son of Alamigo, that I am grateful to each and every one of you for your part in this endeavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm seeing three leaders. Did I miss the fourth one? She over the other side? Oh, there she is, okay. We're good. Now, to the heart of the matter. The enemy appears content to remain within the city walls and await the inevitable siege. Open conflict has been sporadic thus far. What I want to know is when we complete uh, Shadowbringers, uh, Shadowbringers, Stormblood. Is Lise going to then rule Alamigo? Oh, that's, that's the question. I'm sure we're going to find out, but would she then become the fifth, st like, um, you know, city-state leader, essentially, the fifth alliance member? Yeah, I don't know. Whether Xenos is biding his time until reinforcements arrive or attempting to bait us into a trap, none can say. We know better than to trust his word. I reckon he's baiting us into a trap, that's what I'm thinking. Regardless, we can ill afford to present Garlemald with a chance to ready her legions. It would be in our best interest to press for a swift resolution. Yeah. A long siege wouldn't be good for the people in the city either. If food becomes scarce, you know who'll starve first. Just so. Therefore, I propose we commit our forces to an all-out assault. What say you? Agreed, let's do it. Yeah. Looks like everyone's not him. Twould seem we are of one mind. Then let us proceed to the how of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I want to know. The oh, immortal yeah. flames will form the vanguard, supported by the archers and the conjurers of the Order of the Twin Adder, under the Elder Seed Seer's command. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Once the main host has cleared a path to the walls, 
We will bring forward the artillery of the Maelstrom and the Temple Knights. Okay, yeah. I would have your cannons pound the gates and punch a hole right through the middle of their defenses. I like it. So far, so good. What about the resistance? Yes, what about the Your resistance? Your part will be to occupy the residential district and keep civilians out of harm's way. The people are more likely to trust their own. Makes sense. Of course. You can count on us. I genuinely thought she would fight that, but okay. Remember that there is a second entrance to the city proper there. If all goes to plan, we will have secured two points of entry. Once both objectives are complete, we press on into the city, surround the palace, and hunt down Xenos. I like it. Let's do it. You see, we're all smiling. We're all happy. Let's let's just smash. As the for gates. the science, you <laughs> will be held in reserve as an irregular unit until we have more intelligence on your captured comrade. Kryle's rescue will be your primary concern, but I dare say we'll find a use for you once her freedom has been secured. Good. Thank you, General. I pray we find her quickly. Yeah, me too. Ralga's beacon nears its end. Soon, my friends, Alamigo will be ours once more. I like it, I like it. Let's just smash through the gate. Come on. I want to get straight into this dungeon. I say that, it's, it, I'm like five quests off, but whatever. Right, uh, I know it wants me to talk to Alpha, but first I'm gonna get Aetherite. Get the Aetherite, because I know what I'm like. I would forget it otherwise. So is Chocobo Porter nearby? Maybe, I'm not gonna go looking for it though. Right, Alpha, bud, tell me what's going on. The stage is set and the players are assembled. Aeorzea has come at last to drive the invaders from her lands. What would Grandfather say if he were here with us today? Yeah, well, yeah. What would Grandfather say? It's a good question. We're just going to get the material because our hat... Oh, what we're wearing at the minute is better. A key to victory. Yeah. Alphano remains concerned for his dear friend. Yeah, we'll get... Don't worry. We're going to find Kyle. I'm sure he will. For all our accomplishments, Kyle remains in the hands of our enemy. And I find myself wondering if we... If I could have done more. Though we now know she was taken to the city, we have found nothing which might tell us where she's being held. I mean, I'm still... I don't know, like, because I know it was implied that Fodola had killed her. I don't know. You know, you could just... just you know, you could just ask me. Thancred, what, what have you learned? I shall spare you the particulars of my infiltration and simply state that I've seen her with my own eyes. She is being held within the residential district of, uh, south of the city proper. I tracked her to the ruins of an old temple at the Fist of Rauga, within which the Imperials have constructed a research facility. A research facility? What manner of research? Why, methods to imbue guardians with the power to manipulate Aether, in pursuit of, in pursuit of which goal their sciences have, I am sorry to report, performed many questionable experiments on living subjects. What? C calm down, Alpha No. We, uh, blah, blah, blah. We've already been tasked with securing the Alamegan resist uh, quarter. This just gives us reasons to do it faster. I entered and exited the, the facility by stowing aboard Imperial transport, but that method is not suitable for a larger force. And it goes without saying that a direct assault on the rather substantial main gate would be ill-advised. Ill I think I might know someone who can help. One of my men, he had an idea about how to get into the city. Actually, it might be best if I let him explain it himself. Go on, then. Yeah, I'm more than happy to go meet your man. Here he is. It's been a while. I'll not take offence if you don't remember. Might even be glad of it. Alagar, am I right? Hi, Whiskar's the name. I was raised in the peaks, but my mum grew up in the city. At any rate, I reckon we can get inside the Alamegan Quarter by way of Lock Seld. What? How? It was a story my mum told, told us, which made me think of it. She was always going on about what life was like when she was a girl, see? 
and how they had to have to boil the water from the well before they could drink it, since it was full of salt. They were drawing salt water from the locks? Which means there must be an underwater tunnel or something. Aye, that's it. But it won't be as simple as going for a swim. The well was closed, you see. Apparently Theodoric decided one day he wants to control the water supply for bade water trading. So even if you come up through it, you'll find yourself on the wrong side of a locked gate. At the time, my grandfather, being an enterprising sort, befriended the guard and lifted the key from his belt. He made a copy and carried on selling water until the Imperials invaded, and he ended up working at the Salisbury. In short, we use your grandfather's key, assuming he still has it. I'm certain he does, and I can take you to him, but it'll be dangerous. Uh, don't you worry about that, we're used to dangerous. Nargo and Ar Arenvold will assemble a squadron while the rest of us go and get the key. Sounds good to me. All like it. Let's go. Oh, it's an instance. Let's not waste any more time then, shall we? My mum said Grandad kept the key with him all times as a lucky charm. If he, has, if he hasn't got it, then, well. Then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ready, some ups? We may have to deal with a few Imperial patrols, or worse. Yeah, you can put me down to 70. I don't know if I actually hit 76 on stream yesterday or not, but I'm apparently 76 now. I, I, yeah. I genuinely don't remember hitting 76, but, so, yeah. Right, let's just do a sprint. Catch up with everyone. Uh, yeah, the only problem with doing a duty is you don't unlock any of the maps, so that kind of sucks. I get the feeling I'll probably ignore a lot of these. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, some Thancred stealing, alright. These two... Um, Whiskar isn't doing too great. At least he's handling it fine. Yeah, it's just Whiskar that's having a bit of a problem. Yeah. Right, we'll sort these now. I'm not being funny, but if it was me, I'd just walk around them. But no, apparently we have to fight them. Uh, right. See, okay, they are kind of walking around them, aren't they? Oh. Of course, Alpha Nova would pull you. Over here. Oh, my, my bad. That was a waste of elixir field. I don't even know why I hit it, to be honest. Right, where are we going, Whiskar? Up here. We're here, but this isn't right. Where is everyone? Word of the Alliance's advance has surely reached their ears. May have they sought refuge uh, elsewhere? We should search the buildings for clues. Yes, I agree. I mean, the age barrel tells me that it's a bit old and probably hasn't been used. The barrel appears to be recently, oh, recently filled with fish packed in salt. Someone was hard at work less than a week ago. Okay. So less than a week ago. The pot is filled to the rim with salt from the locks. Okay. Um, there's obviously going to be more clues that I need to find. Where are they, though? Anything over here? Yes. Fallen masonry. Let's have a look. Right. Crumbling masonry appears to have lain undisturbed for some time. Okay, so that's not recent, so that's good. It's good for us. Uh, right, short of jumping down there, I don't think there's anything else for me to find, is there? Um, oh, yes, there's more up here. Right, so piled lumber. The lumber appears to have lain undisturbed for some time. Hmm. So people have been here. 
Uh, I've just stranded myself here, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing he's not going to say no to me going down here, is it? Yeah, that final clue is going to be down here, isn't it? Of course it is. Should be, I'm guessing. On here? Uh, no. Huh. Am I supposed to be going inside houses? Is that a thing, or...? Oh, wait. No, 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 I was going to say, I think it wants me to be released, but no, I don't think it does. No, I can't go this way. Hmm. Okay, uh, are there any more houses I can go on top of? I don't know, am I, am I actually supposed to be going inside? No, so that's a no to that one. Um, just in case, let me just talk to Lise. No, okay. I wasn't sure if like, I actually had to talk to Lise because of the, the quest objective right now. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, magic take the right suddenly springs to life, flashing brightly in a missing and still sound, it's a trap. Oh, hey, are you right? Oh, I really should be using my my actual buffs, shouldn't I? My bad. <laughs> are you are you guys just gonna like? Oh, uh, there's a few. Oh, I, I was gonna say, you guys just gonna dilly daddy? What's going on? Am I the only one destroying this thing? But no, there's, there's loads of enemies. Oh my god, where where's where's Lord? Over here. Ready? Oh, we'll wait. Risk her. You are almost dead. I'm Away with you! But if, if, like, if you're going to be with us, can you like not stand in the AOEs? Please! Move out of the telegraph! Wait, no, 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 Slasher. No. Bad Slasher. Leave him alone. Night yeah. Jump. That works out well. Is it just this one? I think it's just this one. Yeah, like, that, this is it. Smashed it. Boom. Sorted. Oh, and then we've got a Colossus. Oh, it's the big boy. We're all here. We're all going to fight it. Let's go. Let's get out of that, thanks. We cannot stun this guy. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. Dude, can you stop telegraphing on me? Step out of that. Nice. He is so dead. Look at that. Smashed it. Now then, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. Looking for clues as to whereabouts while our rest while the pepper pa water merchant key. Blah blah blah. Right. Tattered diary. Let's see what the diary says. Shall we? Although you shouldn't read diaries that aren't yours. In the wake of the ambush, you find a diary belonging to a labourer. The last entry makes mention of a plan to take shelter in the Salai, Salai Monastery. Okay. That's to the south. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Uh, yeah, this way. Uh, it's too dangerous. Some books will follow you. Keep your eyes peeled for more magic text. Yes, I see them. Don't you worry. Like I said earlier, if it was me, I'd weave around them, but I know what these guys are like. They're going to want to fight them. I'll try and weave around them. I'm guessing, wait, where's the monster at? It's not that big thing there, is it? You guys aren't luring enemies in, are you? No? Good. See? Magic. Uh, there is a 
I think, is it this? I think it might be this. Uh, you guys managed to come over here without luring enemies? Are, are, are we all good? Yeah? Let's go. Yeah, I think it's this. I'm guessing. And again, if I'm lucky, I can get around the enemy. Oh my god, what is that toad? I kind of want to fight that toad. Oh, you bastard. I was really hoping I could get through this whole thing without luring any enemies. Oh well. Whatever. Not like you see. Not like it's a hard enemy, of course. Pretty easy. Bosh. Um. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go from here. Just past that gate, gate, keep going. Oh, okay. You say so. Uh, we are going to get into a fight with that thing, aren't we? Can we, like, avoid it? Yes? Yes. Apparently so. Okay. <laughs> Alright, no one's getting into fights, are you? No good. Okay. What? Oh, is it actually in here? Am I just being an idiot? I think I might be in here. But you move away. Thank you. Oh, I did really need the ability to blizzy toe. Toad. Ah, oh, crap. It's the toad. Oh, it's an easy toad. Oh, God, don't step back into it. Easy. Yeah. We're worried about it. It was fine. It was fine. Right, let's, let, can you guys climb up here? Something tall, dark, and imperial appears to be blocking the entrance. Oh, yeah. Um, what is that? Don't think there's a way around it. No, we'll fight it. It's fine. What is it, though? Are we going to actually fight it? Because it looks like it's being held here. Generate. Oh, poison. Okay. Cool. Fine. Well. I thought it was being held there by these things, and I thought, oh, okay, we just go around it, like literally, and go around it. But no. I just re realised Dankrid called me a darling, dude. <laughs> okay. Thing. That thing's actually like. Yeah, that thing's like screaming at us and the light just changed off its out so. Ow. Dude, can you not? There we go. Nice and easy. He's got a lot of health, a lot of health, but it's fine, it's fine. We're like almost, almost there. Hey, Wolfmage, how you doing? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm almost complete with Stormblood. Getting there, I'm getting there. I've got like six quests, uh, four quests left, four quests. So, including the one I'm on. So, almost there. Oh, there we go. Right, just before we continue, I'm just going to sort my light out because that just changed on us. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. Sort that out there. There we go. Okay. You're good? That's good. Right, we've reached our destination. Uh, do you remember the game Free Realms? Um, no. I don't think so. Free realms. I don't think so. No. Um. What, what is it? This is it. This is the monastery. They have, they have to be around here somewhere. 
What? What? It's me, Whisker, your grandson. Whisker? By Ralka? Is that really you? Oh, he heard, he heard the nod. Yeah, of course, he, he understood it was you because he heard you nod. <laughs> oh, it's good to see you alive and well, lad. But who are these other ones? The Resistance Grandad, me, uh, me comrade in arms. Yeah, we are. What you all about? Me, th me thumbing my nose at the Mad King, did she? <laughs> Darth Sods never called me neither. Wasn't much, but it was my way of rebelling against his rule. Glad to see you've got higher aspirations. Here, yeah. make our family proud. Uh, it's an MMO that shut down around 2012. Ah, but it's getting remade by fans. Yeah, no, I wasn't playing. Uh, the only MMO I played back then was World of Warcraft. And even then, it wasn't like I played the official servers. I used to play on private servers back then. So I didn't I didn't play any up to date MMOs back then. So yeah. I will. I, I swear. Ralgar is my witness. Yeah. <laughs> Have a shot release to end the quest. I was worried when he wasn't at the soul tree, but we found him in the end. Now that we've got the key, it's time to find that underwater tunnel. Yeah. At the resonant resonance. Oh, I get a gift for this one. Nice. This is in the mood for a swim. We'll need to dive into the locks and look for a tunnel leading beneath the residential district. Uh, that should be no problem for you, for some bucks and me, thanks to the cosine's blessing. Uh, but for the rest of you, I would have you know that I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Hmm, I think it's best I support Monago and Arden Ardenvold's unit. Uh, oh, right. You can't swim. <laughs> oh, bless. I am aware of that, thank you. But it's neither here nor there, given that I lack both the Cozy's Pleasant and Thancred's pre, uh, preternatural lung capacity. Right, right, of course. I didn't mean anything by it. Nothing at all. So, Sunbucks, Thancred and me. Let's head for the water's edge. Alpha and Whiskar can rejoin the others and wait outside the gates for, the, for us to let them in. Good. Fair enough. So free realms. Is it? Uh, was it good? <laughs> um, I imagine if, if it's been remade by fans, and it might have been good, but I don't know. Was it good? Also, why did they just sprint instead of uh, mount? That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Oh, probably because sprinting is quicker than mounting. It is so slow here. Like, I actually think the ground mount speed might be the same. Maybe it was like 10% quicker. Jesus! This is slow! Such a shame as well that you don't unlock locations when in duties. Ugh. Um, it was good, and the remake is called Free Realm Sunrise. Ooh, clever, very clever. Fair enough. It's good that they not—they're not just like rebooting it with the same name, but they're like tweaking it a bit. That's pretty cool. Is it free? Like, I know it's in the name, but is it free? Is it actually free? Like, well, do you know if it will be? I guess. You know, as it's not out yet, but you know. This looks like a good place as any. Uh, you dive into the briny, briny deep. Zirianje, hey. Zirianje, what are you doing here? Master Alphanord informed me of your plan, and thus did I hasten to your side. When Mistress Alice unfolded to me the tale of her defeat, I was much intrigued by the apparent ease with which Fordola, a theretofore unexceptionable warrior, defied my lady's every attempt to do her harm. After some few days of deliberation, I subs subsequently contrived what I believe to be a solution to the problem of a preternatural precedent, whatever. It was in hopes of furnishing you with the fruit of my labours that I came. Uh, the original had a sub, but the sunrise would be completely free. Noise. Very nice. Uh, wait, isn't that Moon Breeders? Her aetheric siphon formed the basis of my design. 
Should my hypothesis prove correct, you need to activate it in her presence. To say more would endanger the plan, for ignorance is your shield. Is it going to kill her? It was Moonbreeder's time. It is not yours, my friend. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal and return. Mm. We will. For you and for her. We haven't heard about Moonbreeder in ages. That was around Reborn, weren't it? Yeah, it was post-patch content, I think, for Around Reborn, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. But right, I'm going in. Follow me. Let's go. Well, in that case, I might have to give that a go then. So, Free Realm Sunrise. I'll have to give it a go. Where am I going? Uh, I'm apparently talking to Lise over this side. Okay. Yeah, I genuinely think sprinting might be quicker in the area. Oh, she actually, she's actually underwater. Okay. Have you played some uh, summoner? No, no, I haven't. Uh, that one, yeah. I'm guessing that's what you mean by some summoner. Why? What's so special about summoner? The tunnel disease. Dankrit's already gone ahead. Let's not keep him waiting. Uh, well, someone who's getting a complete rework in Endwalker. I know. So is Monk. <laughs> but yeah, no, I've, I've heard. Uh, well, yeah, Monk isn't getting a complete rework. Monk's getting like a, a heavy, like a really serious overhaul though. But yeah, no, I've heard someone who's getting like completely redone. You can actually summon the primals now, can't you? Like, you know, Bahamut, Ifrit, Garuda, etc, etc, Titan. Or at least that's what I think was shown. So that's pretty cool. Right. Can I post it in? So links are actually disabled at the minute, but you can post it in the Discord. So. Right, so we can't get through there, but we can go up here, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing I'll go up the tower. I'll come out the tower. If, the, if, if I'm if I'm correct, should just be up here. Yes, here we go. Hey, Lise. Wow, that was fun. Yes, yes, tremendous fun. Who needs a beastman's blessing anyway? I still can't believe you managed to hold your breath the entire time. Felt like we were down there for hours. I mean, it felt like a minute. <laughs> anyway, it's time we let our friends in. Once we head up these stairs, we'll need to make our way to the main gates, which are somewhere to the west of here? Forgive me for stating the obvious, but it bears repeating that we, uh, we, until we open the gates, we three are on our own. It would be in our best interest to avoid guards and easily start with small folk. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, obviously, but once our guests have arrived, we'll be free to head towards a research facility where crafts are being held as, loud as loudly as we like. Uh, since you've been here before, will you lead the way? Of course. But I mean, move quickly, so, so see that you do not fall behind. Yeah, go on and thank Nothing left to say then? Let's get to it. So another instance, great. All set some bucks? Yes.
Put it in uh, FFX OV General. Fair enough. I'm just gonna load up, uh, load up the Discord. Just have a little sneak peek of what you sent. Just so I can see what. Uh, it's a video of the updates. Oh yeah, 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 I see what you're saying. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Let me just. Uh, Right, uh, FFX IB General. By Larizor, nice, nice. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I am. Um... Whose video did I see on it? It might have been Zeppler's. Did Zeppler make a, make a summoner change video? I know she's definitely mentioned it. Um, and she's also mentioned the monk changes. But, uh, yeah, I, uh... Okay, right, I'm gonna move my son out. Yeah, I, uh... I'm also really looking forward to Reaper. Oh, wait, Patrol and Pass. Oh, okay! Um, hold on a minute! <laughs> Whoa! That, uh, that guard was, was talking about stuff I don't think we should be talking about! <laughs> oh... Sentry gets cover, I would deal with him. Okay. Stand here. Marching on the Oh, yes. I did they know. Like, if only they knew. None the wiser. Let's just press on. Yes. <laughs> I've just noticed someone in the uh, someone in three company got two commendations in Praetorium. I think I got two. I think I got two or three commendations last time I was there. Because I, uh, I like making jokes. <laughs> I like making jokes throughout it. The preliminary winch will uh, guard the rear. Okay, over here. I always like to make jokes on uh, at Praetorium. It's it's great fun. Uh, what was the last joke I made about Gaius? Oh no, it was Tancred. I made a joke about about Tancred. You know, so anyone who hasn't seen, who hasn't completed Round Reborn, first of all, why you watch me play Sh uh, Stormblood? Secondly, um, it was when you fight Lava Bray at the end of Praetorium. I said Tancred, <laughs> more like Thandred. Th 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 oh, I can't even talk. Tancred, more like Thandred. And then for some reason I got like three commendations for it, so <laughs> I got a couple of lulls and then three commendations. I was like, what? I play as a monk, I don't play as a tank or a healer, so why would I get commendation? I was supposed to play as all the class job changes. Nice. Yeah, because I know there's a lot, isn't there? There's a lot of changes happening. A lot of classes it's minor, but there are still a lot of changes. Um, so that's cool. I'm re do you know what I'm really looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to um, Island Sanctuary. I have also just spotted something and I'm going to just... You're going to notice the game getting quieter. It's just I actually raised the volume of uh, the game for a recording I did and completely forgot to uh, lower it again. Anyway, yeah, so, um, where am I going, by the way? I'm guessing I'm just going down this way? I actually have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going to follow these guys. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to Island Sanctuary. That should be really cool. Like, I understand it's basically housing 2.0, which should be really great. Not that I have a house, but... <laughs> you know, I'm, re I'm also really hoping it's not going to be super expensive to get the island. It probably will be. It's probably going to be something like 100 mil or something, I don't know, but... Or, or maybe if, it, if it's behind a quest line, I'll be more than happy with that. But I'm really looking forward to it.
Well, it's so weird to be like basically at the end. You know? Because it feels like quite some time ago I started Stormblood. And I mean, I kind of did. It took me really, a, like, it took me a week's worth of game, like, you know, a week's worth of playing to complete Heaven Tour. But it feels like it's taken me like a good two or three weeks to get through, a, week, a two or three weeks worth of playing to get through Stormblood. Actually, it probably is only about the same, well, yeah, it probably does work out about the same amount of time. Maybe a bit longer. It's just because I don't, I'm not, the streams haven't been as long and they've been much more spaced apart for Stormblood. I remember with Heaven's Ward, I did it for, like for a whole week. I was streaming for like five or six hours each day. So, yeah, they know we're coming. Make ready, my friends. Where's Alphano? Is he with us? I didn't genuinely. I didn't realise Alphano was with us. My bad. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, boy, here she is. Got the eye. Oh, I thought she was going to talk. I reckoned you lot would come, but I didn't think you'd have the nerve to break a bloody uh, break the bloody doors down. Makes no difference to me though. Time to die. Do I get to fight her? She's using the echo. Use a thirk siphon to weaken Fedora and defeat her in battle. Okay. Right. Etheric Siphon, let's go. Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go. Where is the Etheric I can siphon? read your every move! I don't think you can, it's fine. That one. Can we, can we... There we go. <laughs> yes. Use all the attacks. Oh my gosh, she has 663k health. Holy smokes. Yeah, let tell you what, let's let's get you guys sorted so you can attack as well. But this one's actually more well, the one I attacked is more dead, whatever. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Let's let's get the these um, these guys all, all sorted so they can actually attack with me. Because I'm not going to be able to defeat Fordola. Not really on my. I, I will, but it's going to take forever. And I would rather not. It. I'd rather it not take forever. Let's kill this signifier. Yeah, the signifier, and then I'm going to go use my 12 chakra. Oh, 12 chakra. For the Forbidden chat or whatever on this guy. Uh, if you chose to DPS, uh, chose a DPS mage class to play with, uh, play which would you choose? Ah, uh, a DPS mage class, probably black mage. Out of my way. Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't mind giving red mage a go, but probably, probably black mage. I'm being I mean, I, if I'm being honest, I couldn't get on with Thaumaturge at the beginning, but if I pushed through it, I think Black Mage probably would have been alright for me. But yeah, Red Mage, I need, I need to get to grips with Red, Red Mage, to be honest. I've unlocked it and everything, I just, yeah. Um, no sum, well, I don't know, maybe... It doesn't, I'll be honest, it's not like it really uh, appeals to me all that much. I'll cut to pieces! It doesn't really, I'll be, yeah, I'll be honest, like, summoning things doesn't really appeal to me. If I'm being honest, like, so probably not. Um. How? How could I lose? Are you are you now yeah, so use that. Um I need to pick up Blue Mage though. I know it's not like a a, a real real class, but 
You know, I do need to pick it up at some point. I do not need to actually complete the quest. What are you doing? Where are you running? No, stay on, stay on the dolo. Oh, hey. Blue does not count. Yes, yeah, exactly. I know it doesn't really count, but I do need to uh, pick, oh, pick up on that at some point. Plan B. What, what's plan B? I don't like plan B. Oh, I remember plan B. I remember when we fought last time. You did a full plan B. Was it you that did plan B? Yeah, it was you that did plan B. Plan B. If I'm not careful, I'm going to lose lease. Well, no, Fordola is, is at half health, lease isn't quite there yet. Plan B again. Can you stop summoning these things, please? Kind of annoying. There we go. <laughs> Monka, what? Probably going to bring her echo back shortly. What are we? Uh, what are we monkering? With that, thank you. Let's finish this. Yeah, let's finish it. Let's go. Come. If only you knew the power. Oh. Yeah, you and Lisa both monks and monkers. Fair enough. Yeah. I know, you know, Lise is just so powerful, you know, because she's a monk. There we go. Oh, she's dead. That was easy. Oh, no longer sync. Nice. I'm still not convinced that we're going to kill her. I think she's going to be part of the, the final dungeon. Or maybe we will. She might die. <laughs> at least calm down. Don't need to start screaming while you charge at her. No. Not after everything. I cannot lose. I will not. It's just like all she did was push her over. Come on, Lise, we're not in school anymore. Oh, but you will. Without your tricks, you're nothing. Conrad, Mefrid, your own comrades. I should kill you here and now for what you did. But there's she no won't. place for that kind of justice here. Yeah. Not in my Alamigo. Oh, how? Very bloody noble of you. <laughs> or you'll pardon me my sins, will you? After you and your freedom fighters come and tear down everything we've worked so hard to build. We were fighting for our people's freedom. I don't think she's got it yet. They, they, there is no freedom with the Imperials. They're not interested in that. See, that's how strong monks are. We deflect swords with our arms. You're slaves to a tyrant. There's no freedom <laughs> in that. Hey, there you go. Lee's basically just said it. Now, my friend. What we done? Oh, Kral's probably in one of them. I'm guessing. Hi, Brett. How's it going? How's work? Oh, well, yeah, of course. We just pick the one she's in right away. You know, as, as, as you do. Croyle. Yeah, you better catch her. She's going to fall. Okay. 
It's going. Ah, okay. Alphano? Yes, probably it is Alphano. I knew you'd come. Aww. Touching as this moment is, it will have to wait. We should rejoin the main force at once. Lease! Boyfriend stops in after he got off work and he's irritated with his job. Oh, what's happening with his job? What's going on? I'm taking her back with us, alive. She's going to answer for what she's done. <laughs> Listen to you. Talking like you've already won. Xenos is gonna tear you apart. He commands a power. Echoing that of the icons. I mean, so I can slay the icons. What are you talking about? The hunt, you stupid cow. I'm talking about the hunt. He said you'd come. And here you are, his willing prey. <laughs> he works in the store and customer the customers are idiots. Yeah. yeah. But I've set up a reservation for my three days off so I can get some rest this week. Nice. Very nice. Okay. You and your friends are dead. Just like mine. And all our misery, all our sacrifice, it was all for naught. As it is, you know, so tough luck. No, it's fine. We're going to secure for no lease. <laughs> no. You're going to live long enough to see us win our freedom. I promise you that. I love it. I love it. Lease is just so ragey. <laughs> it's like she's got a hair trigger when it comes to like snapping at people um, and, uh, and use my employee discount before it's taken away. Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah. Makes sense after all. May I live a thousand years. Interrogations can wait. Let us be off. Why do I get the feeling that um, Alpha and Kryl are gonna... You know, you know what? <laughs> you know what I'm getting at here. What a relief to have finally found her. But though our greatest challenge yet lies ahead of us, on the eve of this final battle, I find myself overcome with joy. We could not have saved her without everyone's help. Dankred, Lise, Yurianjo, and of course you. But yes, there is much, uh, much and more to be done. I should be very interested to learn the meaning of Fedola's ominous words, for one. Yeah, me too. Oh, there's actually some no more armor for me to take. Jesus Christ. Oh, Scion's Rogue Bandana. Ba bandana. That can go in the Glamour Dresser. Yeah. Hey, mount speed is increased. Awesome. The legacy of our fathers. Okay. Alpha Note is a man with one less worry on his mind. Oh boy, is he. Lisa's gone to deliver Fordola into the custody of the Alliance, leaving Minago and her men to hold a res residential district and stand ready. Uh, Yustola is still best wife. Yeah, we haven't seen Yustola like, since the very beginning of the expansion. And I want that gazelle. I want a gazelle mount. Once the Alliance has breached the main gates and commenced their assault, the Resistance forces will push through the entrance here and join the fray. In that case, I will remain here. My search for Kral took me into the city proper, and my familiarity with their defences may prove useful to the Resistance. Understood. I shall instruct Ironvold and his unit to render support as well. They were tasked with securing the Aetherite, as I recall. With me, Sunbucks. Yeah, I don't actually think I got the Aetherite here, did I? No. Okay. Can I just get to the Aetherite from here? I think. I'm sure it is. And Thancred is best husbando. Really? Dankred? Fair enough. If that's what. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, you know, if that's what you like. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing it's this way. 
Right, before we have a chat around, well, we're going to attune to the eight right because I know what I'm like. I will forget if I don't. There it is. I don't like how they're using these ones. I wish they'd go back to the uh, Stormblood ones. Like the Eastern ones. Is he though? Is he? I mean, if you say so. Chocolate keep. There we go. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. Arnvold, hey, bud. How you doing? God, Skrall, it's so good to see you. I feared the worst. It wasn't your fault. You saved me, all of you. Thank you. We'll be departing shortly for Porta Pretoria to rejoin the main host. Arnvold, I would have you, your unit remain here with Thancred, that you might support the Resistance troop in the coming battle. Uh, do you have a tra tank unlocked? I do. I have a uh, paladin... I think I've got them all, actually. Maybe. I've got, I, I've got Dark uh, Dark Knight unlocked. That's, like, my highest one. But then it starts at 30, so... <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Understood. We won't let you down. I trust you will refrain from doing anything I would not. We are both far too young to die. Right, right. No, no, no sacrifices. Got it. What about Gunbreaker? No, I don't have Gunbreaker yet. Uh, oh, actually, no, I think I do. I might do, actually. I think I do, actually. Maybe. Let me, uh, let me check. Sandbox Skrull. Let us be off, then. Yeah, let me check. Uh, classes, jobs. I do. I, I do have gun. Okay, so Gunbreaker is my highest. I, I've unlocked it, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> so that's all. That's, yeah. Yeah, if I go battle classes, tanks. Yeah, Gunbreaker, I do. Okay, cool. Is this my best gear? Yeah, apparently it is. Monk. Where am I actually going? Oh, all the way back up here. Yeah, I can go all the way back up there. Oh, I've just realised I've got Port Victoria. That's exactly where Strange said I should unlock before I start working on the Blue Mage. So now I've got it. I can probably start work on a blue mage. I'll be doing that off stream, but yeah, fair enough. Yo, Robin Bird, how you doing? I've got to talk to you. That's something I've forgotten, but sh something. Ah, the heroes of the hour. Not content with securing the residential district, you gifted me an imperial commander. <laughs> after a medal? Yeah, yes. Please. <laughs> the work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? Ooh. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, actually. Might she speak of our missing Omega? Oh! There Maybe. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it. If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. I'm going to be honest, I completely forgot about Omega being out there, and I... Well, no, okay, I, I knew it was out there, but I completely forgot we were looking for it. So, yeah, they they probably have found it, yeah. Ah, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just <laughs> yeah. discussing the pilot's claims. Yeah, 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 I'm sure she's punched... I'm sure she smacked her a few times. You know? About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Cryo. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. You should do the level 70 raids. I haven't even done the level 60 raids yet. I, I've done Crystal Tower. That's all I've done in terms of raids. Not Alliance raids. Oh. Okay. What are the level 70 raids then? What are they? Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. 
though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled, there are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Go on then, Crow, what's up? Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. The Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. Um, eight so man that's rage. how Fordola improved mm. so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. So how do you unlock them? Like, do you just unlock them through like the regular means, or? If it weren't for Orianja's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. Yeah, I don't think we would have. It would have taken forever. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception. I do assure thee. Oh, you have got to stop doing that. <laughs> in calling upon Lady Alize after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. Twas as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. So there a quest? Yeah, uh, I, fair enough. Yeah, so it makes sense. It would be unlocked the same way every other raid and, and dungeon is, so yeah. Most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my Lady Alize's soul. Not very clever, very clever. Yes. Wait, have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? Yeah, that's what I said! I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and was this which led me to develop my stratagem. Interesting stuff. So we can now give people the echo. That's a bit weird. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations, the shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. Hi. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. Oh, of course. That's why he couldn't tell us. Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, t'was a most fortuitous outcome. Very good. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Arianje is correct, that would mean these Resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. A sobering thought, to say the least, and one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Giving someone the Echo comes at a cost, and I'm sure we're going to find out what that cost is. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must, for there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. Great, to Alamigo, let's go. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now, I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. I, I say we do it. Let's take on Xenos. Uh, right, victory is as good as ours. Yes, yeah, screw it. Let's be reckless. Exactly. Oh, I wouldn't want to be in Xenos's boots. Not with the likes of us coming to get him. That's the spirit. Right. I'd best get back to the residential district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. Fair enough. 
It is time we join the main host. Kryle, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. <laughs> Just this once. Noise. Right, speak for half an hour. How is this quest really going to keep going? Like, can we just get straight into the dungeon, please? Right. If I may, General, is there what Sumbox and I can do to assist with the final preparations? I'm glad you asked. Pippin informed me moments ago that all forces are in position and that we are ready to commence the assault. Nought remains but to notify the Alliance commanders. If you know objections, I should be glad to have you do the honors, Sumbox. You were instrumental to the success of Operation Archon. You helped bring an end to the Dragon Song War. You are a hero to the people and a symbol of hope. Some might judge us an empty gesture, or worse, a waste of your talents. But I know it would mean much to everyone here. Cool, okay, so that's... Oh, are they here? Oh, they're here, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Right, AM it came. <laughs> that you should be the one to bring me my word by the fury. It is good to see you, my friend. You who stood with us in our direst hour will ever be an inspiration to my countrymen and to me. Though Ishgard's debt can never be repaid, it is my hope that our deeds this day shall go some small way to redressing the balance. <clears throat> of course, it's been a while since I've had to voice you. <laughs> I kind of miss Amic, you know? We don't really hear much from him anymore, do we? Like Candy Salmon. All is ready? Very well. Though many will fall in the coming battle, how many more shall know liberty for their sacrifice? There is a time for peace and a time for war. Even the matron understands this. We who have received of hers and the elements bless blessing go now to stand for Eorzea and her children. There we go. Let's have a chat with Merlewood. It is time then. Though this is not the, my theatre of choice, we will play our part. Our cannons care not either way. The battery has sunk enough ships to fill a fleet to so not like to be bested by a gate. Good. Yep, here we go. Let's have a chat with Robin and end the quest. It's going to put us straight into a cutscene, I know it is. Here we go. It is done then. Thank you, Sunbucks, for humouring an old bull. Hello? Is that what's happening there? Maelstrom, Hatter and Ishgard forces are in position, General. Resistance forces in the Alamegan Quarter are ready and await our signal. Naught left to do but the deed itself. Let's go then. Let's do it! Uh, I am going to want to not grab any gloves because I grabbed them last time. Yes. Alright, the measure of his reach. Let's go. We're so close. Robin has a personal favour to ask of you. If it is not kill Xenos, I don't care. <laughs> right then, I must go to my men. I should be leading the first charge through the breach. Then we shall head to the front. Pippin has a command of our artillery outside the gate. It will not be hard to find. You say that, but he's quite small. Ah, but before you go, I have a final favour to ask. Give this to my son. He will understand. Okay, that's fair enough. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, uh, okay, it's getting loud. Is it, is it going to be quicker? It's going to be quicker to be, for me to go to the Alamegan Quarter and then work my way up, I think. Yeah, 24.6 yards. That's not going to tell me how far is it. Where is it? Whatever. Right, yes, yeah, so I think it's going to be quicker to get from here. And I really should be equipping all my gear, so... Uh, I'll do it before we enter the dungeon. So I do have some better gear to equip with. Um, yeah, so I sh the gates are actually over here. And yeah, I'm assuming we can just get out of the gates and go north. I hope. Alamegan Resistance, Gay Guard, hey bud. 
Let me through. Yes, I want to go through, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, those are walls. Can I get around them? Yes. Looks like I can. I think. I mean, even though I couldn't, I can, yeah. No, I can, yeah, I can anyway, but even though I couldn't, there was still, they were going to end there anyway, it's whatever. Um, okay, so, right, up here. Oh, is he probably literally up there, so I'm probably going to have to go up these stairs here. That's fine. But yeah, it's a shame I'm gonna have to get sink down for this, isn't it? The 70. Bummer. What's going on there? What is that? So bad, okay. Get it. Ooh, hey. Ow. <laughs> Getting a bit loud, isn't it, around here? Will you leave me alone, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, there's Pippin. Awesome. Oh, that player is almost dead. Hi, Pippin. Sunbox, Alpha Node. Hmm? What have you got here? This is for you. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's this sword. Oh, the 12th. This is this is Tizona. The Bull of Alamigo's legendary sword, forged from two cursed blades. This sword is a symbol of everything my father fought to achieve. A weapon claimed on the blood sands, and with it, fortune and glory. Its flames consume the unworthy, but by fire he was reborn. That he should bequeath it to me now, to carry on his legacy. Well, I should endeavour to deserve it, but I'll be damned if this is his final battle. Once we begin, there will be no respite until it's over. Are you ready, my friends? Yeah, let's do it. Very well. Brace yourselves. This should be quite a spectacle. Ooh. Vice Marshal, Vice Marshal, Imperial units approaching from the north. Well, let's take him out then. Aiming to destroy our artillery, are they? How many? Total numbers unconfirmed, but at least one squadron. But, sir, uh, they're wolfmen. Parai Domite. Bloody hells, that's all we need. Call up the Bloodsworn. Tell them to make ready. Uh, Marshal Tarrapin, wait. These wolfmen of whom you speak hail from Doma. They were coerced into fighting for the Empire, spirited away to a foreign land and told that if they disobeyed, the lives of their kin would be forfeit. But their homeland has been liberated. They have no reason to continue serving their Imperial Masters. Are you engaged them in battle, I beseech you. Grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. I am loath to gift our enemy more time to prepare, but if there is a chance that this conflict might be avoided, I suppose we must take it. Go then, be quick. Oh, we will, don't you worry. We will, Vice Marshal. With me, Sunbucks. Let's go then. Let's have a chat with them. Oh yeah, weren't we also supposed to be see hearing from here at some point? I don't know how soon that's supposed to be. Right then, up here. But yeah, we are literally two quests away, like this one included. It's this quest and then the final one. Uh, of course it's gonna be, I'm gonna be synced. Couldn't just do the quest without being synced. We will wait here for the Lupin to arrive. Still yourself, my friend. Though I hope to resolve this without resorting to violence. It would seem wise to prepare for the worst. Yeah, we're gonna go. Like, you're sinking me. We're gonna fight someone. You can't tell me we're not. We may even end up fighting our way through. They come, Sunbucks. Yes, they do. You, clear the road! Honourable warriors of Doma, my, no my name is Alphano Alpha Eleven, and I come before you with news of great import. 
Silence, boy. You stand upon a battlefield. Be gone or be cut down. Domer is free. Lord Heon has returned and driven your Siyu and the Imperials from your land. We were there. We helped him. There is no need for you to fight for Xenos. Um. Oh, God. Lord Heon is dead and you are a liar. What could a boy such as you do against Magitek? Throw stones and spit curses? Invoke my lord's name again at your peril. We will suffer no falsehoods. And speak only the truth. Put up your weapons, I beg of you. Let us speak as friends and not sh uh, shed blood in vain. If your claims are true, we will gladly sheath our blades and embrace as brothers. But since they must surely be false, we will be traitors to accept our lives and those of our loved ones forfeit. Words are air. You will prove the truth of your tale on the battlefield or die in dishonour. Mm. We tried. Tis a shame. No, oh, they're all after me. What's going on now? Let me target one of those. There we go. Boom. For the house of Levia! <laughs> Did he genuinely just say the same thing I say? Levi Levia. I thought he would have actually said it properly. Release! Maybe he did, I don't know. Because I can never say his name. Right, you guys are pretty much dead. Yeah, oh wow, that was that was over quick. Okay. I thought I had more to fight, you know. Um, you are no strangers to battle, that much is plain. I am the white. I am Hakuro, and I will be your opponent. Have at you. Okay. Right, I'll take you down easily. It's fine. You have a lot of help, bud. And you hit pretty hard. I'm not sure about this one. And why does it... Ne oh, God. Why does it never give me fists of fire? Like, always disabled, like, re removes it. It's so annoying. Oh, well. Do I want to destroy the white fangs? No, I want to let them blow up, I'm guessing. I think I avoided that. Hey, hi, hi. You are a tough opponent. I'll give you that. But you have lost 100k. You are down 20%. And I like that. Okay. Oh, I'm standing in the middle of that. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Right. Pull yourself together. Ow. Yeah, Alfred, pull yourself together. So it comes to this. Yes. Do it. Smack him. Down to 60%. Moonstone Carbuncle. Okay, what are you doing? Should I be over with you? Probably should have done, yeah. They will grant you strength. For how long? A minute. Okay, I like that. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh. I might have been in that. I think I was. Ow. Fifty percent, so far so good. 
Well, this guy must yield at like 20%, I'm guessing. There's no way we're going to kill him. We're not going to kill him, are we? That'd be a bit cruel, wouldn't it? When was the last time you used Forbidden Shackler? Are you summoning your bloody white fangs again? Right, let's get away from this. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep, yeah, no, I think I'm safe. No, I think I got hit by that. I'm gonna get hit by that, yeah. Let's use Riddle of Fire. Don't use that often, Riddle of the Fire. Okay, so I get, I get two minutes of um, buffs from the Carbuncle. That's good. But you're at 20%. Are you going to surrender? You're coming up to 100k. There you go. You're below 100k health. Are you going to surrender or not? But that's going to hit me. Can you move away from me, please? Okay, no, yeah, that's fine. We're all good, we're all good. No, I think he's gonna I think he's gonna die. Eight percent. Oh, seven, six, five, four. And let's get ourselves a healing just for good measure. Three, two. Oh, actually, we might end this before we even get a chance to heal. There we go. Sorted, there we go. You're every bit of the warriors you claim to be. You would get really Idiot. Of course we are. Jesus. Like, it's just, that was so stupid. We had to take him down to zero for it, basically. You would have thought you'd, like, surrender at, like, 40% or 30% or something. Jesus Christ. You fought of honor and restraint. You could have killed my men and perhaps even me, but you did not. For this, I thank you. Warriors brave and true, I pray you tell us of the battle for Doma's liberation. We should be glad to do so. Lord Hian returned. Such joy this news brings us. But for Lord Gusetsu to perish in the keep's collapse, to be taken from us by such treachery, there is no justice. Um, eyes for Hakuro, he wished for no better death. Yeah, there you know. You knew him well. Hi. He would not suffer to mourn, well, suffer us to mourn with so, with so much undone, and so we will not. Duty becomes becomes before all. All Lupin know, shall know of Doma's liberation and your part in it. When you breach the gates, we shall turn on the Imperials as one. With fang and claw, we shall we rip open the throats of our masters, as the as the White swears. This the White swears, whatever. Thank you. When our war is ended, I'm certain that your lord will help us to return you all to Doma. Such a curious thing. Destiny, to see us meet with friends of Lord Hian in this distant corner of the world. But we shall not keep you. Uh, keep you. Your day is not yet done. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go. That's cool. I'm guessing that's just a regular enemy then. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Come, let us not keep our comments waiting. We have a nation to liberate. Yes, we do. Into cutscene, cool. I did the little lala fails. Bless them. Oh, <laughs> bless the little lala fails. I love how they're all the third, like, lala fails are pretty much. Oh, like all oh, Thormund, all oh, black mages are Lam Lalafels. Essentially, is what I'm getting from this. <laughs> ah, you are returned. Were your negotiations with the Wolfman successful? Oh boy, were they? You know they were. The one they called the White was receptive to our words once we told him of Doma's liberation. Absolutely. They withdrew behind the walls to inform their brethren. If the gods are good, no blood shall be shed between our peoples this day. Other than what we just did, so. Here, here. Now, I think it's time we did something about those gates. I agree. Thaumaturges, forward! Hmm. 
Okay, and he calls them dermatologists. Ah, Give quick. me hellfire! Give me Ifrit's bloody inferno! That way you all love some fireworks. Oh wow. Is it working? Now give me a cuff in winter! Enough ice and snow to bury a behemoth! <laughs> okay, cool. All cannons! Fire at will! Let no man say we neglected to knock! Yeah, I like it. You could probably expect that to put some holes in it, yes. Oh. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, no. Damn that armor. We nearly had it. Right, let's talk them out. Here we go. Yes, Ian on a yawl. Is that? Yeah. Bear witness, my Eorzean brothers and sisters. Doma has come to pay her debts. Yes. Lord Ian. Of course it is. We will deal with the flying machines. Forward, my friends. For freedom and justice! Got you geary and everything. Lovely. You heard the man! All cannons resume firing! There we go, come on. That gate can't handle handle anymore, surely. There we go, that's it. We're through. The way is clear. Is it? Oh. -ho -ho. So I suspect we're probably going to turn this quest in and start the final one. Yes. Hey, Pippin. Impeccable timing, those diamonds. Come, comrades. The enemy's gate is down. Forward. Yes. Stormblood. <laughs> this is it, the final quest. <laughs> At long last, the end is in sight. I'm getting no XP for it, but I don't care. <laughs> right. The battle for Alamigo is, is at hand. All forces have been ordered to advance into the city proper. I trust your unit of elite adventurers is ready, Sunbox. Excellent. Your objective is to make haste for the castle and keys kill Xenos J. Galvis. Any questions? Of course not. Now go and get the bastard. Oh, you bet I will. Is it just chucking us straight into it? I uh, yeah. Brilliant. Happy. Yeah. Let's just teleport to Limsa because I just want to swap out gear. And then, like, I might as well start... Well, I might as well have started up the duty finder already, but... It's like 15 second difference. Recommended gear, equip, glamour. Uh, we're going red, aren't we? Yep. Apply, close, done, boom. So how can you tell the difference between an alliance? Ah, oh, I see alliance raids and then normal raids. So the Void Arcs and the Alliance raid, Binding Call of Bahoma, Bahoma is a regular raid. Gotcha. Cool. Right, uh, we are actually going to teleport back to somewhere. Uh, first of all, let me let me get my bloody Alamigo sorted. Here we go. Right, uh, not Arthur. Do you want to go hidden gashi? No, Kiribania? Yeah. Right, let's get ourselves to the Alamigo quarter and work our way up there. 
Just because I doubt, you know, it gives us something to do while walking there. Um, also, I love how this is only a four player dungeon. Hmm. You would have thought it'd be an eight player. I should hope the trial at the end is an eight player, though. You know, I'm just saying. The good news is, apparently, the average wait time is less than five minutes. Which, uh, cool. Oh, great. Gear up, uh, gear up, mount up. Let's go down this the proper way this time. People are shouting in game. How long do we think this is going to take to pop? I think yesterday the dungeon didn't take... Well, I know it did actually. I think it did go over average. I think it did start as le at less than five minutes, didn't it? Yesterday. So we might be a bit unlucky here. Either way, we're going to get ourselves back up to the gate, so... I'm gonna fight Xenos though, do you reckon, or or not? Right, I think oh can I get that Aether current? Is that a thing I can do? Mm, yeah, yes. From where, though? Do I have to go through this building here? Do I go around something? Ah, uh, go around here. Here we go. And then we go up here. Here we go. Okay, I could probably have done that on the other building as well. I just didn't. Right, Aether Current. Dan, because you're in. I really do need to go around collecting all the Aether cards from Stormblood areas though, because I'm way behind in it. Like, way behind. Right, now my question is, if I try and jump down there... No, I should be fine if I jump down here, yeah. I was going to say, am I going to, like, undershoot it and end up falling down? And Oh, there's stairs, it's fine. I would have been fine anyway. Here we are. Oh, we've got... Oh, there we go. We've got two DPS and a tank already. Sweet. We're literally just waiting on a healer. That's all we're waiting on right now. Which shouldn't take too long, to be honest. Should it? Because, like, healers are, you know, pretty well sought after. Right. Come on, healer. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I also uh, can't believe I, I how long it's taken me to find this out. But it turns out I where I did so many runs of Stastasha and Tamtara Deepcraft, I have a ton of um, spare triad cards from them. And I've been, you know, thinking, oh, well, I can't put them in the free company. I can't sell them to regular vendors, I don't think. And I'm thinking, oh, well, they're just going to sit in my bloody retainer, taking up space. That's annoying. I mean, it's only one slot per type of card, but still, it's still annoying. Um, anyway, it turns out you can just sell them to the Triple Triad Trader. I didn't know that. So, yeah, I will end up doing that at some point. So, if anyone's got some Triple Triad cards and you're thinking, oh, I've got so many spares and I don't know what to do with them because you can't put them in a free company chest and... You know, you, all you can do is retain them. You can't use them. Well, stick them in the uh, 
to give them to the thingy. Oh, wrong button, there we go. Stick them in the uh, triple tire trailer. There you go. Anyway, here we go. Alamigo, last dungeon of the uh, expansion or the base content. Girabania, Alamigo. Doing a little O slash. Here we are. Let me use Fist of Fire. Meditation, I am ready. I was just about to say something really stupid. I, I was about to say, oh my god, we've got someone in the party who has never done this before. Who is it? It's me! <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many enemies in the tank right now. Holy smokes. Here we go. I might as well just start attacking this like single target. There we go. Smashed it, look at that. Doing wonderfully. Boom. Where are we going here? Tossing a bomb. Oh. <laughs> Stand back, tossing a bomb. Then the tank just goes and stands on it. Oh, I just remembered uh, Strange doing this one as well. So that's pretty cool, doing this dungeon that I remember Strange doing. So that's... I'm catching up with Strange, <laughs> basically. But then he's at endgame already, so it's not hard to catch up with him. You know, because he's not progressing any further than he was. Ooh, tank's getting a bit lower. Noise, noise. There we go. We're sorted. Mashed it. Noise. Bomb again? Oh, no, more enemies. Okay. Where'd these guys come from? Is it worth me doing, um, oh god, doing that? Maybe. Yeah. Bomb? Yes! All obstacles are removed, revealing a means of passage. Noise. First boss? Yes. I get the feeling this is going to be really tough. Got that. Can I use my dragon? Ow. There you go. Please don't target me. You're targeting me. Actually, I think you're targeting a few people. Whoa. Okay. Give me not. Give me alone. Please. Thank you. No. Got me. No, you didn't actually. Sweet. I like that. Oh, okay, so where the bombs hit, it's an un like, you, you can't stand there anymore. Got it. I will keep that in mind. When the next target search happens, I will make sure I... If it, if it targets me, ow. I will make sure to... Uh, to lure the target much further away, then. Here we go, this is the target. Right. Right, come on. Proper, proper out. Let's go, let's go. 
That's what we're talking about. There you go. Let's get out of that. There we go. Ow. That really hurt. And I genuinely... Oh, I shouldn't have used that second one. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Kind of rendered the oh god the right side of the um area useless. Ow. Oh, not anymore. It's fine. We seem to be doing all right. We seem to be doing all right. I like it. Can we just check something. We all seem to be taking different amounts of damage. Oh god, is that dangerous what you got? No. Um I wonder if because I noticed some of them are moving away. Oh god. I'm wondering if maybe um Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to move away with that one? Maybe. We don't have to worry about it anymore, but you know. I'm not sure that that should still be happening, but sure. Oh, it's been a while since you've had a dungeon that actually traverses different areas. That's cool. Anything worth taking and no and no. Greed and greed. Oh, I'm not even range to... There we go. Why? Oh, tank died. <laughs> hey! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go, we're all good, we're all good. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was. I, I like these spicy moments like that. It really keeps you on your toes, doesn't it? <laughs> Very nice. Oh, dang, dead again! Yeah! Come on, guys! Come on, guys! Literally, like, a couple more hits and half these guys are dead. Okay, they're pretty much dead. I am dead. Can I get a dragon kick in? Get that in. Let's go. Let's drop one of those. I'm so dead. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was good. I like that. I do like those moments because it keeps you on your toes. It, get, it, it, it adds a bit of spice, doesn't it, to the encounter? It's not, you know, with most dungeons, they're all pretty boring in that you go through. Oh, yeah, they're, they're done. Tank takes the, t you know, the blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying. But it's moments like that that really sort of. <laughs> it's, it's good. I like it. Here we go. See, smashed it. We're fine. We're all golden. Oh, before I forget, well, after this particular fight with this enemy, I need to make sure I use um, Enlightenment. I might not need to, actually. I might, I might just end up smacking it, so it's fine. No, it's fine. I uh, do need to use it, re reuse it, though. I did just use uh, Forbidden Chakra. I was thinking I might not need to because I might get that final thingy. Did someone just use Limit Break? I promise it wasn't me. Oh god, uh oh. Here 
guy. We're all right so far. So far, so good. Oh my god, get out of that. Holy shoot. I did not spot that until like almost too late. Now, nah, but we smashed it. Look at that. Boom. Nice. We all seem to do all right there, so that was fine. That looks like a big boy. I think I did, yes. Here we go. Really should have saved that AoE, I think. But, oh well. Where are we going now? Continue this way? We're continuing this way. Sorted. I think they just bombed their own gate. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Oh, more, more stuff to greed. There we go. Just drop all the attacks. Yep, all the attacks sorted. Ow. Uh, I don't know if that's proximity based. I was trying to see if it was based on... Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I shall have to share these findings. Can you do that all you want? Initiate Whoa. soul extraction. Okay, what's happening? Just been stunned. Success. Am I supposed to run towards my body? That's oh god. Uh oh, that would be my assumption. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, am I supposed to avoid the, the claw? The bells. I see. Yes, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I like it. My word, this data. I think we're all good. Are we all good? I think we're all good. Yeah. Ow. That hurt. Orders to charge. Okay, that's the one where we've got to avoid. No. Maybe? I thought that was... Oh, order to fire. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Can you stop targeting me? That's not very nice. Oh, I'm going to run just in case. Ow. There we go. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. I just realised your um your health. You're just gonna smash you. Boom. <laughs> oh, and I got um tombstones as well. <gasps> oh, needing that. Thank you. Oh, really? I got a nine on the need. Are you kidding me? So none of these guys should be needing that, because I think it was Monk Samurai gear. There's not a Monk Samurai in the party! So, you know... I just realised I'm sat here, like, attacking nothing. There we go. Oh, 
Why did I just use that? That was silly. Yeah, I think I got out of that. I did, sweet. So much going on right now. Jesus Christ. Right, and then it's just you left. That. Sweet. Let's just please do agreed. I can't do that, okay. Uh, I will sort that out in a second. I just need to pass it. I can do it between attacks, boom. <laughs> Dead. Apparently we get loot for that. Oh no, I actually got loot. Is that what I was after? I don't know. Uh, no. No, no, it wasn't. I think the thing I need is, like, the thing I needed on is still in the loot table, isn't it? I'll check it in a sec after this fight. Not the end of the world if I don't get it. So I mean, I, will, you know, I mean, realistically speaking, I will be moving on to level 70 tombstone gear after I've completed. Yeah, like after all this. So yeah. Here we go. Nice and easy. I don't know if I got a chance to use that then before going to the cutscene. There he is. Xenos. Oh. It's got its blades and everything. Need on that, why not? Ooh, this is it! <laughs> okay, I haven't butchered the mechanics. We'll see. Let's just use Forbidden Chakra straight out of the gate. That scares me. That scares me. Are oh, you moving away? Yeah. Is anyone else in new? No. No. I am the only new one here, by the way. Well, the non. I'm the only sprout. Am I still a sprout? I genuinely don't know. Hmm. Oh, apparently I got loot. Okay. Friend. Right. Is that the same thing that I? No. We're not all leaving it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. That scares me. What's going on there? Am I just leaving that? Oh, God. Are we sticking in it? Are we good? I think we're all good. You look like you're on the edge of it. I don't know. Let this moment last forever. Sure, if you say so. 60% already. Hey, 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 hey. Run away, run away, run away. Sorted. All good. Oh, God. Get in the middle. Nice. Ooh. Oh, okay, bud. What are you doing over here? Oh, are you... Uh, uh, I, I get the feeling they've been tethered. Oh, God. Oh, 
kill. Not much going on right now. Weak. All right, you're at forty yeah. percent. I like it. Ow. Yeah. This is that thing we want to avoid from earlier. Didn't it give the attack yeah. paralysis? Is that right? I think that was the one. Either that or Xenos got paralysis at the time and they want to avoid that. Like, ow. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that's the, the one that changed. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Why, like, ow. Oh my god, I'm like in the, in the, in the, the end. I have no idea what's going on. I am so dead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I'm dead. We're all dead. <laughs> Show me your role. What? Yes, yes. What's this, what's this eighth? So. Eighth the transfer in the middle. What's going on there? Uh, 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 uh. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, are we killing the swords? Like, are we in order or probably? Uh, there probably isn't all there usually is. Uh, you are over there attacking that no! one. Oh, let's get out of that. That's the dangerous thing. Yes. Ow. Would you not? Are we good with that sword over there? Are we on this one now? I'm really hoping we're doing this in the right order. Yes, yes, just so. Have you the strength? Uh, are we back on to you now? That scares the me a bit. The to transcend. We're back on you. We're back on you. <laughs> we have been hit a bit, that's good. Oh, I can pop one of those in there. Nice. Get one of those down. I can also pop that out. Sweet. You are at 7% health. 6%. 5. Come on! Final push. 4. 3. 2. 1. We're just ignoring the whatever you're doing. Smashed it. Boom! Challenge complete, Dungeon Master. Nice. That's what we're talking about. But then there is the final trial, isn't there? So it always is. What are you running away for? We killed you. I was going to say, it where's Fedola at? But we captured Fedola. Don't worry about Fedola. Right. Let's uh, let's let's do a GG. Thank you very much. Sorted. Let's do. Let, what, what loot can I get? Mm, greed. Greed. Need. Ah, oh, someone else got it. Uh, let's go on. Let's commend the tank. I should really. I should have commended the healer, but, but you know, we, we, we all did good. I think everyone did splendidly. That was great. I got a commendation. Hey, nice. That was good. But what's going on with Xenos? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Little bastard. <laughs> yes! Yes! Such ferocity. Such tenacity. Okay. I am loath to recall how disappointed I was when first we fought. But finally. Finally. After bathing in the blood and awful of your enemies, finally you prove yourself worthy prey for the hunt. It fills you even now, doesn't it? The hunger to bite down on my jugular, to feel the warmth fill your mouth and run over even as you drink deep. Good. Good. 
This is the beast I have longed to face. <laughs> He's a weirdo. <laughs> As you What's sharpen it? your paws, I too sought newfound strength. But this is no place for a final contest. Come, the heavens shall bear witness to our dance. Okay. It's funny, it's, it's funny he says claws because my Kaiser knuckles really do look like claws. So, what's happening then? What? Where? What? Okay, so I take it Xenos is the trial fight as well? In this final contest or whatever it is? That. It looks like a giant yellow Garuda. Welcome. To the Royal Menagerie. That's a dungeon trial. I'm strange doing. What's going on here? You got a giant Garuda locked up. Yellow Garuda. The King of Ruin built this place for his foreign queen. Mm -hmm. He kept it filled with familiar creatures from her homeland. Yeah. They bored me all. That's a shame, bud. That's a shame. This fine specimen, on the other hand, is simply divine. Right. Hold Your on a fates are entwined, are they not, Icon Slayer? This dragon, this Hold embodiment on a of unbridled despair born of a desperate man's burning hatred for the empire was that the dragon that um oh ilbert was it ilbert summoned oh the one that omega was fighting right at the end of heaven's Ward? like the post patch content i think Going into Stormblood? How raw the raging tempest that churns within its breast. No myth made manifest this, but a being of pure violence. Yeah, I think that's the dragon thing. <laughs> Mayhap you are the true architect of our design. You who fought the very soul of vengeance to the edge and watched him fall. You who let slip the Alagon hound to drive this icon into my arms. <laughs> all right, bud, calm down. <laughs> Chill out a bit, all right? Oh, my. Have I said too much? Forgive me, this sensation is wholly unfamiliar to me. I'm gonna be honest, he's kind of got a point. Like, we kind of did pause this. If that a really question, is that dragon. And I should like very much for him to <laughs> Whoops. If I were to stand aside, what would you do to this icon? Right, if I'm being honest, I would slay it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just being honest. Well, kill it, yeah. Yeah, they have to, like, the, ah, the thing is, you're not really killing it, that. killing it, are you? But of course, you are the Icon Slayer. Such certainty is to be expected. Like, you're not really killing them because they're made of Aether. They just go back into the Aether, and then they can get resummoned again. It's not really killing them. It's more dispersing them. A pity. Into the Aether. There is another alternative. Or there would be. Had you only mastered your ability? Yeah, I'm confused. I speak as well. of the echo, of course. Yeah, that's what I thought. Does it merely render you immune to iconic influence, or is it yeah. rather that your influence is far greater than theirs? Granted, what? these implications are of no moment to a savage who thinks only of killing the beast before him. What? <laughs> huh? Is there more? When I read Van Belsar's reports. I immediately saw the boundless potential of the Echo. I saw how it could be instrumental in binding an icon to one's will. 
Hence my research and the resonant. I know so much Whoa. more. I know the Ashens have said to us, hey, you don't know nothing about the Echo. You've just barely glimpsed the surface of it. You've, yeah, yeah, you've just barely glimpsed it, scratched the surface of it. But what's he going on about here? <laughs> Whoa, he's getting into some serious stuff. What's All going on? All icons must be exterminated without exception. Yeah. Such was the Imperial mandate issued by my great grandfather after he saw firsthand the destruction wrought by one such being. Hmm. They are a blight upon this star, he felt. And so he began his great and just crusade. Right. Ha! Twas not justice which spurred his campaign, but fear. Fear of the icons. Fear of their power. Cowardice made them march forth to battle. Pathetic. So what have you done, exactly? Man should fight for the joy of it. To live, to eat, to breed. Lesser beasts snap and howl at one another for this. Only man has the wisdom and the clarity to embrace violence for its own sake. Right, okay. For we who are born into this merciless meaningless world have but one candle of life to burn i know you understand this you and i are one and the same together we could while away the quiet hours as friend and confidant if you will accept me i just want you to tell me what's going on but <laughs> what's happening uh, I deny you. <laughs> and yet, in doing so, you prove me right. We are warriors. It was plain from the first how this would end. Yeah. You live for these moments when all hangs in the balance. Mm -hmm. The difference between life and death is but a single stroke. Yes, okay. I live for them too. This is who we are, my friend. This is all we are. Alamigo and Doma and Gollumol be damned. <laughs> right. Are we gonna fight or like, oh, okay. What just happened? You learn it free. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we fighting it? Are you. What, what are you doing? Are you controlling it? I, I think he's controlling it. I get. Yeah, it's what you've said about is your influence great. I think he's controlling it. Are we going to have to fight that? That's going to be the trial boss, isn't it? We're going to have to fight that thing <laughs> in the trial. We tower above the gods. You by your gift. I by my might. Okay, so he he's... Ob yeah, so obviously he's given himself the power of the Echo. That's what's happened here. Yeah, there we go. Both eyes are red. He's, he's full blown. And before Allegan the Echo. Resident, yeah. Shall be made to kneel. Yeah, he's going to control it. Oh, there they go. There he goes. He's, oh, he's doing a mind control thing. He can fly too. He's like an Asian, isn't he? Can you imagine that? Oh, shoot! An ending to mark a new beginning. Okay, so he merged with the dragon. <laughs> oh my god! So we gotta fight Xenos Dragon. What was the name of it? 
Uh, I think it was Shinryu. I'm pretty sure I googled it way back. I'm pretty sure I googled it. It's like from Final Fantasy 3? I'm not 100% sure on which Final Fantasy it is, but I do remember... Yeah, there you go. Shinryu, yeah. I remember googling it. Clear selection. Uh, Royal Menagerie. I'm going to be honest, I was looking for Shinryu then. But yeah, Royal Menagerie. Nice! Eight minute wait time. Yeah. But yeah, I, uh... Cool! Awesome, we got to fight Shinryu. Uh, did you find out the price of giving someone the Echo? No, I have no idea what the price of giving someone the Echo is. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that Fodola and Xenos both have been given this echo thing. And Xenos just merged with Shinryu. So that's fun. <laughs> but no, I haven't found the price yet. Not got to that point just yet. I just gotta wait eight minutes for the Royal Menagerie to to pop so yeah can I climb up those steps over there uh, I don't think I can or I might be able to uh, no can I get over there? no I can't get over there either if I go through the exit is it it's gonna take me back to the locks okay not much to explore in this area is there It would be cool though if we could like. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say it'd be really cool if we could go up there and go up, like onto that platform that's over there, in the distance. But then I just realised that's where this gate leads. That's where the trial is. You guessing the trials up there? You need to level a new class so you don't waste XP. Nah. I like my monk. I'm leveling the classes separately. And when you say waste XP, what do you mean? Like, you get you get barely any XP anyway. So, you know, surely it would only be wasting XP if I had hit 80 already, no? Seeing as I can still make use of the XP, you know? So. We've got two DPS already, that's pretty good. Max level is 80 and you're 76. Exactly. I'm not going to be hitting 80 until into Shadowbringers. Because the post patch content is always really low XP. And that is not going to get me to 80. I promise you that. There's only 40 quests? I think there's exactly 40 quests in post uh, Stormblood. So. Uh, uh, yeah, there's literally exactly 40 quests in post Stormblood, and I promise you, I'm not going to hit 80 in those uh, post con uh, post patch content. So yeah. Having said that, the question is, can I get another class up to 70 before I get into Shadowbringers? I doubt it. Like, you know, what I mean is, like, obviously I'd do it off stream, but can I get another class to 70, or, you know, into the 70s before I reach Stormblood, uh, sorry, before I reach Shadowbringers on stream? So, you know, between streams and whatnot, can I get them to 70? I doubt it. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Yes, if you, if you go Dancer or Gunbreaker, eh... I don't really think I'd want to go Gunbreaker though, because I don't know if I'd want to do a tank for, for the final bits of um, Shadowbringers. Dancer, maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving Dancer a go. What else is there? Uh, yeah, Dancer 60. Gunbreaker 60. Samurai. Sa I'll be honest, Dragoon is one that I've actually been meaning to do. I'll probably get Dragoon up. Or samurai, either samurai or dragoon. That was a, that was pretty quick at popping. Oh come on, DPS! Don't be silly. Come on. We're waiting on your DPS. 
But yeah, maybe I might think about doing Samurai or uh, Dragoon. So, maybe. Probably Samurai, because I've heard Samurai plays similarly-ish to, um, let me just do a O slash. Yeah, apparently Samurai's kind of similar to to Monk. I know they, they apparently they are different, but, you know, I've heard they're somewhat similar, so I might give Samurai a go. And yeah, Dragoon gives you Fire Reaper. Exactly, that's partly why I want to get um, uh, Dragoon up as well. I've already got um, level 50 Dragoon gear, so I'm kind of prepared for it when I hit 50 with it. I just kind of need to um, to do it. Shinryu, right. Just dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Am I supposed to like be breaking the... Are we supposed to stay together or not exactly be made clear? What's going on? What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. That went well. I think that went really well. Amazing. Three people died. I think maybe even more might have died because of that. <laughs> Uh, that chain is a drink, but oh, I see. Good to know. As you might be able to tell, I haven't actually gotten uh, that far in in Dragoon. <laughs> I'm only like level 30. Like, I've unlocked Dragoon and then I kind of like left it there. Right, we're at 76 already, so that's pretty good. Am I supposed? To, are we supposed to be attacking the uh, the wings or? What are we doing? What's everyone doing? Oh, I'm gonna follow you. If I do that, is that gonna hit it? I'm not sure. Ow. Are we uh, are we gonna get knocked off the edge or? Okay, we're all going over here apparently. Oh, can do. Okay, well, okay, what? I, what is going on right now? There's so much happening. I. What level is your dragoon? 34, I think. Wait, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Guys. Ugh. Ow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There is so much happening. Right, where are we going? Come on, guys. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Ah, uh, we are screwed. Over here, got it. Oh my god. Whoa, first stop what? Okay, I'm standing with everyone here in the middle. Ow. That hurt. Oh no, I hate these things. Right. Look, 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 look. Oh yes! I hate active time maneuvers. Oh my god, I think someone's still locked. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, one of the DPS died, I think. Oh no. Oh no. Why do I think I, I uh, I'm so dead? I'm not quite dead. That's good. This is crazy. Oh.
<laughs> oh, is that 39k? 396k, nice. Drop a. There we go, ow. One of those. Hey, where's the tail? Where's the tail? There it is. Oh, um, who? What in the, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, I just died. Um, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh no, a tank's dead. I think they're back up. Did, did they just get raised? Oh, avoid that, avoid that. Tails up, tails up, there it is. Oh my god, half the plat half of this is gone. What in the world has happened? Ow. Right, I'm just gonna stick with everyone else. I oh, don't like you guys. Oh no. Yeah, those AOE stuff on them, where they drop stuff. Ow! Gee, oh my god. Oh my god. Half of our party just wiped, basically. Oh my god, it's doing the chain thing on me. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, you! <laughs> did we win? Whatever, we did it. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I love it. Yeah, great. Amazing. Okay. Later. Oh yeah, let's probably do it. <clears throat> right now. Boom. Let's do a commendation for the only tank remaining. Sorted. So that was that. Sweet. Oh, oh, I got three commendations. Why did I get three commendations? Is it because I was... I may have died a lot, but was I the only one that didn't fall off the edge other than the end there? Oh, and back at the beginning when I got knocked down. You know, as in, like, I did the active time maneuver, I didn't fall off the edge when the platforms dropped. <laughs> oh, hey, Xenos. You, um, you had a bit of trouble there, didn't you? I'm sorry. Suck it. <laughs> and that's how you deal with the... Uh, with the pest. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. fine. Not a scratch. It's all good. I soloed that one. <laughs> I soloed him. It's fine. I, I tripped him up. He's fine. Don't worry. <gasps> I think that went quite well. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter has indeed become the hunted. Exactly. Are you gonna bow? Are you gonna bow down now, and or there is only joy, transcendent joy that I have never known. How invigorating! How pure this feeling. This dude's got problems. <laughs> is that Lesson. what this was all about? All the meaningless death and destruction. So you could feel something. She doesn't like that. Meaningless. Men die that others may live. Those who survive are stronger for it. Not that you could ever understand. To have stood upon this great stage of fools. To have 
played my part to perfection. Oh, this. This moment. Let it be enshrined in eternity. My heart beating out of time. So clear. So vivid. So real. So real. Coward! Stop! Is he gonna do it? Farewell, my first friend. That's, this isn't quite how I thought the uh, expansion would end, I'll be honest. Interesting. Although... His armor, okay, obviously. Where is he? When we die and we respawn, obviously it's an MMO mechanic. You couldn't just have your character die immediately. Like, it, you couldn't, on your first death, you couldn't just end the game. Like, obviously, respawning is a, a core MMO mechanic. However, in this game, do they put that down to the echo? If so, is he really dead? Surely he could just respawn. Just saying. He's dead. By his own hand. Is he, though? Is he really? <sighs> and justice has been done. The only other person we can, like, look to for this is Minfilia. But then she became one with Heidelin, didn't she? So... so I mean, she isn't dead. Not really. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> she isn't dead. I don't know anyone else in the story with the echo. There's no justice in that... in that rabid animal's end. Other than Kryle, but we haven't seen Kryle die yet. Having said that, it was implied that Bordola killed her, but she was still alive inside the chamber, so it's entirely possible she came back because of the echo. Just saying. Is he really Liberty dead? Liberty or death. That so many should be forced to take up this creed to defeat such madness. If we see his body disappear, just, you know, we, we know he's, he's you know. The living have need of us now. You know, if he just suddenly disappears, we know he's popped to limbs. Uh, he's, in, he's in the plaza. You know what it is. <laughs> he's RPing. Stand tall, Lise. Now is the time to raise a cheer for all who fought for freedom. A cheer loud enough to carry to the highest heavens. Exactly. And hey! She is now the leader of Alamigo, if I understand correctly, so... Sorted. She has her whole nation. Her own nation, you know? You're right. Thank you. Without you, well, you know. Of course I know. It's okay. It's fine. So let's You're do it welcome. together. For Alamigo! For Alamigo. Yeah, he's dead, I know. Hey, there we go. I'm not convinced. I don't think he's dead. In this game, nobody truly dies, I've noticed. Um, with the exception of a couple of people. How can Fan in Heaven's Ward... Um, yeah, okay, Lady Iceheart, well, I've forgotten her name. Um, you sail, that's right. How can Fant, you sail, and um, Gusetsu, I think. 
Yeah. So. Are you going to say anything? Or you didn't, yeah, just nod to each other. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Just, you know, walk up to him, give him a good, good little glance, and just... And then walk off. Brilliant. Amazing. That sums up this game to a T. Nod. There should be a meme of that. Just stares, nods. That's it. No, it's, 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 there you go. It's a blank stare. Small smile. And walk off. <laughs> One anthem. And there we go. Credits roll. In crimson it began. Almost. And in crimson it ended. And then... And then we were free. Okay, we've got the credits. Go on, we'll, we'll watch through this. And then when it actually comes to the regular credits, we'll skip through that. Oh, it's for Dola. But what is freedom, really? What is freedom, really? Yeah. I thought Soken did the theme for this. I thought Soken did all the music after Realm Reborn. Interesting. Yeah, I like how it, it gives the credits for several languages, even if you don't necessarily have that language playing. Like we may be free to yeah. live, to love, to grow old, to have dreams and desires, and to strive for them. Yeah, can you even change your but language in the options end, in game? We're defined by the legacy our forefathers bequeathed to us. No, you cannot. Mm. I might have to look at that Even in a minute, actually. Zenos was once a baby in the cradle, innocent and pure. He was made into a creature that lived only for death, not born one. No, I think he might have been born one. Twenty years of imperial rule have left Alamigo torn and bleeding. There's the imperial guard been taken away. It won't be easy to heal a generation's worth of wounds, to bridge the gap. But I won't give up, Papalimo. I won't. Aww. We haven't seen him in a whole expansion. He's been dead. Jesus. Oh yeah, sorry, Papalima is also another one that died, my bad. So there okay, there have been a few people that died. Because Fair enough. I remember the price of freedom. Yeah. I remember the smoke and the ashes and the blood. I remember the screams and the silence. And I'll do whatever it takes to honor their sacrifice, to build a home for us all. I promise you. So it turns out I was correct in my first assumption. Um, in my very first assumption about these monologues by Lise, every time we were in a new zone, I always thought 
she's that monologue was from her point of view after we just like right after we had completed the, the expansion but then it was it might have been yesterday or it might have been it was some point this week it, it, i thought okay well the maybe it isn't the imperial province of alamigo and the rebirth of alamigo the free nation long may she endure Long may she endure. Yeah, no, at some point this week, I, I thought maybe actually no. It's from the point of view of at least years down the line when she's ruling Alamigo. Uh, and it turns out I was wrong. I was right the first time, I was wrong the second time. It was from her point of view of now. I think that was, that monologue we just heard was actually in her head that moment. Um, and all of the monologues we've heard before that point have been that. Like leading, like just this that point there. At, at least that I thought. Oh, this Tinian. Hey. Well, well, well. What a fine mess we've made. Yes. Hey, bud. How you doing? What's going on? Oh no. Mm. No. Don't touch I'm them. Spent feeding that primal, eh? Hey? Well. You won't be making any mischief with that amount of ether. Also, I completely forgot that Shinryu was made up of those eyes. Don't touch them. Please don't touch them. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't do this. Still. Oh. Safe than sorry. Are you destroying it? Oh, okay. Okay. Fine. We're all good. I think. I'm hoping you're destroying them. And not absorbing them into yourself. There. There ends your hateful legacy. Right, Estinian. You did good. You did good. Missed you, bud. I've missed you. I know Alphano has too. <laughs> Who's, oh, this is the Emperor, isn't it? The guy we haven't seen, like, entire expansion. Varys? I think? Yes. It's over. Is it? My condolences for your loss. A father should not outlive his son. Who's speaking? What nonsense. The leader bird. Hey, bud. Long time no see. You do not mourn his losses. Loss? You surprise me, your radiance. He was your son and heir, and an irreplaceable test subject. I know what he was. Monsters are not made for thrones. Nor nor are stars made to sustain false gods who sup on their very essence. Icons summoned by desperate savages who hearken to the whispers of shadowless charlatans. Would you raise a hand against my black robe brethren? I will not stop you. Our desires are one and the same. Preservation, restoration. Compassion, resurrection. All is in service. All is in service to your one true god, and then the sundered shards are made whole. Will there be a place for us mere mortals? Doubt my claims and question my motives, if you will, your radiance. You will come to trust me in time. Until then, mayhap you will find this reassuring. going to find reassuring. Elidibus. He's not... Are we going to hear it, or...? Hey? What is it? <gasps> he's, taking his, he's taking his face off. Well? How dare you? What, what, what is it? Has he got, like... Uh, Xenos' face or something. We're not going to be able to see it, are we? No, of course we're not. Of course we're not. Ah, oh, they're teasing us. I reckon he had Xenos' face or something. Alright. 
Lise, are you doing? We did it. We liberated Alamigo. I don't know what to say. I, I don't even know how to feel about it all. Relief, I suppose. Pride and hope, too. We did it, Father, Ida, Papuimo, Conrad, Method, Benfilia. We really did it. I'm not being funny, but out of everyone you mentioned, one of them isn't dead. Not really. Anyway. Hey, I don't feel like you have to stand here listening to me mumble. Everyone else will want to talk to you. You beat him after all. You're the real hero of this story. So run along and take your plaudits. Yeah, I will. Thank you. I've got a lot of people to talk to. Hey, Geary. <clears throat> For you to best Xenos, even after you had harnessed the power of a primal, is a testament to your ever-going strength. No better, uh, not better to... Oh, it's Ian. Where's Ian? I'll tell you. Not better to have your vengeance stolen by, from you by another. There is sm some small regret, perhaps, but that is outweighed by the satisfaction of finding this death. I commend you, Sunbucks. As should we all. Xenos was a monster and a tyrant. The man who killed my father and countless other of my countrymen. The world is a better place without him in it. I should also praise Master Alphano for his foresight and restraint. Had he not intervened, I might not. Ha I might never have had the pleasure of being reunited with Hakiro and his Luper brothers. Twas a timely invention, I intervention, I full glad am I not to have been burdened with the guilt of killing my lord here and most trusted allies. <laughs> indeed, my friend, indeed. Okay, I'm not sure you would have been able to kill me, but whatever you say. All right, Nago. Hey, what's guy you doing? Yeah, you cheer. <sighs> Can you believe it? We won. We beat the bastards. Alamigo, Alamigo. <laughs> Sorry, he got a bit carried away there, didn't I? It's hard not to, you know? We owe it to the friends we buried to shout and scream and cheer with all our hearts. I want them to know it wasn't for nothing. It's finally over and that they can rest in peace. Y you hear that, lads? Well, we'll be all right. We'll, we'll be... Oh, fuck, not again. I'm so, I'm so bleeding happy. I could cry. Oh, Alpha and I... After all we've been through, I really should know better than to worry, but... As ever, the relief I felt upon finding you hailed and holding the royal menagerie well nigh reduced me to tears. The warrior of lights, victorious again. <laughs> I should be surprised if some small part of you had not come to resent the title and the responsibilities which accompany it. You must forgive us if we call you hero when you accomplish your heroic feats. But as the warrior of light goes, so goes the world. You should take pride in the good you have done and in the good you have inspired others to do. You are a natural, natural born leader of men, Thumbucks. When all these people weren't just following their commanders, they were following you. Aww. And you led them to victory, to freedom. Alas, not everyone could see the journey through to its end, but history shall remember them and the glorious future they made possible. Nice. And then let's have a chat with Robin to end it all off. The uh, hero of the hour. I suppose we'll have to add liberated to your titles. With the commander fallen and the remainder of the 12th choose to surrender to our forces. Chose to surrender to our forces. After 20 long years, it's official. The occupation is ended. But now the hard work starts. Though the people have had their fill of kings, there is no clear consensus on what sort of government they would prefer instead. Indeed, Father, momentous as this achievement may be, the road which lies before us is no less uncertain than the one we have walked. Aye, aye. Yet if we can overcome two decades of oppression, I have no doubt we can find a way forward. Thank you, Sunbucks, for helping to make this dream a reality. You are welcome. And now I suppose we better go have a chat with Lise, where do we basically say, hey, you're the leader? That what's going on? Maybe Raven becomes no, because he's the Immortal Flames, isn't he? Finished your rounds? Great. In that case, I'd like to cut you to come back with me. Uh, come with me. Back to Ralga's Reach. Sure, okay. Uh, not friendly rematch or anything. Sadly, I want to call the Scions together. I'll explain later. Here we go. Yep. I think this is where Lise is going to say, "Hey, I'm stepping down as Scion." I'm gonna run Alamigo. I I don't even know where to begin. Just drop us into a cutscene, I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna find out. Here we go.
we've been through a lot together, haven't we? I can't thank yes. you enough. Yes, we have. There's something I need to say to you all. That is, if you have a moment. Oh, are you still is here? Good. You're all here. <laughs> She's actually here. We haven't seen her since, like, what, 20 quests in? Thank you doesn't really suffice, does it? I'm grateful. Truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. You are more than welcome. But I know you didn't fight so hard just to hear me or anyone else say that. You fought because you wanted to help. Because you believed it was right. Because you're scions. Yeah, that way. Now, I'm obviously a scion but as conrad left me in charge of things here i also have responsibilities to alamigo yes when i put it like that though i realized i couldn't even pretend to be impartial anymore so it seemed best to make it official as long as i serve alamigo i can't be a scion it might be selfish and short-sighted, but that's my decision. I had a feeling that was going to happen. It's fair enough. More power to you. Am I to understand that you summoned us all, some of us still nursing wounds, to hear <laughs> this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You stole her. Oh, I... I... I didn't... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, Lise. Twas but a jest. <laughs> yeah. You jokey, you. Do love you, Stella. She's good. I've missed her, though. But this I say with the utmost sincerity. Scion or no, we are comrades. Now and ever after. Nice. I like that. Is that not so? Yeah, there we go. There you have it. Come what may, you may count on us in your hour of need. We shall never refuse you. Wait. Aww. Oh, God. I swore I wouldn't cry. Bless. Group hug. Catch COVID. <laughs> You're not social distancing. Step away. Now, that was nice. A bit shorter than I was expecting. Yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a bit more, to be honest. It's, an, it's like the final cutscene of the expansion before post-content. No. Don't do this. Don't tease us like this. Come back here, you slippery little devil. I knew he didn't die. I think fishing could be so difficult. What's with the question marks? As if we don't know who it is. Like, it's the blade what and the voice. Proof of a man's lingering mortality than an empty belly. A fate worse than death. File it. To have arrived at the appointed place and time only to survive by mere force of habit. Truly, the Kami are not finished with us yet. I knew he was still alive. I just knew it. Oh, capricious fortune. How you test me with this wretched soul. I'm so glad he's not dead. <laughs> I was going to miss him. Oh, no. No. She's not alive, is she? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. But they're stranded on an island. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, God. What's happened here? Oh, it's Sid. Hey, Sid. Oh, is this Omega? 
Oh. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This is indeed the work of Shinri either Shinryu or Omega. And since there is undeniably something down there radiating a massive amount of energy, which cannot very well be the late fight for his lap dragon, uh, yes, I think we have our suspect. Well, this is a mess of our own making, so it's all falls to us to clean it up. It won't be easy, but it never is. And now comes the part where you say you've got no choice but to divert company resources and employees to this pet project of yours. Lost profits and belligerent clients be damned. <laughs> I, uh, financial considerations notwithstanding, you have to admit there is an unequivocal, unequivocal, unquantifiable benefit in giving our people the opportunity to study such advanced technology. Oh, is that before or after you blow it up or seal it away? Fine, fine, but the moment I judge this little venture an unsustainable risk to the ironworks, I'm ending it. Savvy? And to keep you honest, using my authority as deputy president, I've gone ahead and brought in a consultant, a master engineer and a mechanical genius. It's Nero. It's got to be Nero. <laughs> so good of it, Nero. Didn't. Oh no, she did. Please be Nero. Please be Nero. <laughs> That'll be the best thing ever. Come on. Come now, you mustn't mustn't build their expectations too high. It would be less dramatic when I surpass them. It's Nero. Come on. It's actually it is not happening. It's got to be. I knew it. That's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Nero Toscavia, eager to begin his first day as loyal member of the Ironworks team. <laughs> Looking forward to working with you, Garden. No, oh, I love Nero so much. I don't, but I do. <laughs> oh. I love the banter between him and Sid. It's great. And I'm so happy they brought him on board. That's just such a kick in the you-know-what. Oh, so fell the hunter, but what of the hound? So rose the children, but what of the something? I missed that. <laughs> the father. There we go. I've got it on my stream preview up, up here. Oh, good. Awesome. Well, there we go. We completed uh, Stormblood. And now all that's left is post-Stormblood content, which is 40 quests. I know I said I was going to start it today, however, it took a little bit longer to get through the story than I was hoping. And to be fair, I was going to be ending off in half an hour anyway. And I kind of did say that if we get towards the end of the stream, I'm not going to start it because I don't want to do like two quests and then call it. So we're going to be starting this tomorrow. So this is where I'm calling it for tonight. So let me get my stream deck up. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll be live again tomorrow from 7 p.m. UK time. Today we started it two hours late. Uh, just because I'd have a plan today, so, yeah. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow is going to be from... Oh, no. Sorry, apologies. Tomorrow's early start. I forgot all about that. Tomorrow's an early start. We... I have no idea what time I'm going to be starting. A notification will be going out on Discord. And, of course, if you're following on Twitch and subscribed on YouTube, you will also get notifications as well. Uh, assuming you've got notifications on. Turn them on. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you at some point tomorrow. Uh, where we're going to start post Stormblood content uh, and I will be finishing around the regular time of 9pm UK time. So, yes, 